The following podcast has been rated listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. Uh, would you rather give up cheese or blowjobs for the rest of your life? <laughs> blowjobs all day. I, I'm the same. I'm fucking Yeah, away. they hurt my jaw. Blank. Rejected name for condoms. Gosh, I don't know. Cock koozies, jizz mittens, ham holsters, kidnappers. Yeah, try it now! <laughs> <laughs> try it, try it now! What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I am your host. My name is Scotty German, a.k.a. Scooter McFuckstick, and alongside me, I have two spectacular stand-up comedians. One uh, is the... What? I don't think we do. I don't. I don't, I don't think yeah. I can even hold a candle to. Uh, uh, oh, we'll get there. No, I just don't think I. Uh, I don't, don't think I can be introduced no. like that anymore, man. No, don't worry. You'll. We'll get there, and someday, right. someday you will get there as well. But anyways, <laughs> first he is the very funny homosexual with the lowest voice in the entire world, Mister JP. Oh, sorry. There you go. There's your magic fairy. Thank dust. you, sir. Yep. And uh, now. He is the 2021 and 2023 funniest person in Wichita, Kansas, Mr. Derek the Wreck Alders. Yeah, we a whole month off. Whole month off. Whole month off. I'm back. Had to prepare. They were so excited that I was gone. <laughs> no. Steve is so much funnier than me. No, that's, I mean, obviously not. Well, well, a, he didn't yeah. enter. Well, uh, I guess I did go against him once. No, I didn't. So, I didn't at all, actually. Yeah, see. yeah, yeah. Well, well, we'll get to the week week he here was, in a second. Steve was a little busy. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, I'll talk to him about it later. Uh, but anyways, ladies and gentlemen, this is the very first time you've ever listened to the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. This is a comedy podcast where we like to make very inappropriate jokes about current events in sports and inappropriate jokes that have nothing to do with sports whatsoever. Uh, this is also an adult podcast where we like to use foul language and uh, offend a lot of people that have thin skin. So if you are one of those people that are easily offended, you're in the wrong place. Get the fuck out of here. Thank you and bye. I don't have a bit of thin skin. <laughs> no, you are insulated, <laughs> But you sir. do have a lot of skin, which uh, I don't yeah. know if that's an advantage or that not. That is the largest organ yeah. in the human body. Yeah. <laughs> For you. No, yeah. that's true. Well, 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 I mean, in cold areas, it probably helps you out and benefits you quite a sure. It's like a koozie for my organs. <laughs> <laughs> <It's great. laughs> very it's good. It's an organ koozie. Yeah, <laughs> uh, but we got a lot to talk about today, man. We had some uh, some headlines to get to this week. Obviously, a lot of things happening in sports. Uh, we've got Never Have I Ever, That's Where I Draw the Line, Questions and Preguntas, and as always, a great draft. Uh, and then we wrap things up with the shitty situation at the end of the show. But we've got a lot of stuff to talk about over the last uh, week uh, for each for all of us, I guess. Well, JP probably doesn't have very much, so we're going to kick it off with him. We call this our week week recap, JP. And mine are usually pretty weak. Yeah, they're pretty weak for uh, a reason. But yeah, right. I bowled, I smoked pot, I played video games. And that's it. That's really it. What <laughs> game did you play? I played Goat Simulator, man. <laughs> I, yeah. I forgot to tell Derek that I got Goat Simulator, I man. I walked into bowling last night. He's like, "Hey, man." Did you forget to tell me something? And I'm like, fuck, I don't think so. But I do smoke a lot of pot, so there's a chance. And he's like, you got Goat Simulator? I was like, yeah, dude. I played it for like fucking three hours straight. It's the fucking best. Uh, I'm just now starting to actually play it and like do the missions and shit. Before, I was just fucking around. Dude, looking the, at all the ending is different. fantastic. Yeah, I can't yeah. wait. Wow. We're nerds. Yeah. That's pretty pathetic. I'm all right with it. That's all right. I told I I told him I was like I watched some like gameplay video of of it. I'm actually, you should I, get it, man. Dude, I <laughs> you should so get it. So worth it. I still got to beat the games I'm currently playing, and I don't know if I ever will do that. You so. don't even have to beat Goat Simulator. No, <laughs> you can just that's play. That's one of those things you yeah. just casually. Yeah, I'm, I'll knock this out real quick. Yeah. It's like yeah. GTA Five with a goat. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, pretty much. You can yeah you you can steal cars. You can do all sorts of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I love it. My favorite is like when you figure out you can do something that you didn't know you could do, and you're like, yeah. whoa, <laughs> yeah. it lets you do that? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's great, dude. It really is great. 
Oh, I right. just want an old man in there now going, hey, go! <laughs> go to sleep, old man. You've got a long day of drinking and beating the fuck out of me tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, you're right, goat. Is that you? <laughs> you button hooked me. I didn't know you were going to button hook me. And that's the one I was going to go with. Uh, but anyways, JP, did you watch any new shows or anything like that? I mean, I'm sure I did, Scotty, God but I don't think it. these people give a fuck about it's what I'm worthless. watching. It's worthless. All right, fine. Hey, man, it gives you more time to go over your week. Look, these people don't need to know what I do on a weekly basis. Yeah, that's true. That's true. They don't need to know what I, they don't even care what I would do on a weekly right. basis. Uh, but I do have a, a very, very exciting, I got some exciting new news. Okay, I'm ready. I just can't wait. I'm on pins and needles over we, here. We have a new sponsor. Fantastic. And they make snowboards. Are you serious? No, dude? I'm fucking lying. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm like, okay, I quit. They, they make little gummy snowboards. <laughs> no, yeah. no, I, I, uh, I made a, com I commented on the YouTube <clears throat> video of basically what sold me the one I bought, and there's this dude from Toronto that was like having a full fucking conversation with me about this goddamn snowboard, and I'm like. Finally, I found people who give a shit about what I care about. You had to go all the way to Toronto, but <laughs> yeah. you found them. Yeah, and then I look at the slopes in Toronto, and I'm like, oh, not good. Yeah. <laughs> not good. I'm glad we live in the middle of the country, and we're only eight hours away from actual slopes, but that's beside the point. Uh, but no, um, uh, we had a, a diaper party uh, for a good friend of, of, of ours, me and Derek. Uh, went up for that. Uh, Jesus Christ, I found out that you really run out of diapers quick. Yeah, those Apparently. things. Those things shit a lot. I go yeah. through three or four a day myself. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. I, know. <laughs> I was just getting ready to say Derek's diaper party's next week. Yeah, I, I do. I'd turn them inside out after a while. Smart. That yeah. Save yeah, save money. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, so I I text Derek. I go I go. Hey man, what kind of what kind of diapers should we get him? Because I don't fucking know. And Derek goes, uh, depends. And I'm like, that's a great idea. And so I was like, I'm gonna get some regular diapers for the you know up the newborn baby that's coming, and then. I'll get depends but then i thought i would be pretty offended like offensive to the people because they're, they're kind of bigger people and so whenever so you have to get two depends and tape them together <laughs> <laughs> but no i was like son of a bitch like i now do i get the extra larges i mean like what do i do <laughs> now they're maybes <laughs> yeah right <laughs> maybe yeah uh but no so i didn't get the depends i decided to be nice and i, I really like those people they're great fucking people not to mention those things have to be fucking expensive depends yeah a lot more than you think i would think yeah, yeah i would think they would be very expensive diapers in general i mean like very a, convenient though right <laughs> yeah. that's true i mean I it's mean, worth the cost you, you can't, can't put, put a price, price on, on convenience, convenience. Yeah. Yeah, that's true <laughs> for for those of us <laughs> jp that have actually shit themselves uh accidentally. yeah that's true i wish if i, I mean, had a diaper on that day you know exactly, what i mean you know true what story saying? man you only should yeah. shit yourself on purpose <laughs> <You know>? yeah <laughs> well, well sh i guess that's true uh but no uh i did uh i did get some uh, fantasy football i finally I, we're we're going down to the week right before the playoffs for our fantasy football league and i just need to win and i'll make it and that's all that matters i just gotta win this week and if i don't win i'm gonna be so devastated but it's probably gonna happen um, I'm trying to think tell me here. more about fantasy football. Man. I know you don't care. It's okay. I know a lot of the listeners out there actually do do play fantasy football because you know it's a very popular Losers. thing. Yeah, uh, my dog. Uh, I have two dogs. Uh, one of my dogs. Has he got a team? Uh, maybe. Sweet. Yeah. <laughs> he likes Marshall. <laughs> yeah, he does. Uh, but no, my dog Marshall turned nine years old, uh, and my wife posted a really cute uh, video of him on Instagram and shit like that. God, he's a fucking cute dog, but he's the only one I don't like, and yeah, he doesn't. Dude, you don't even like him, <laughs> dude. For, like the, him. for the longest time when I would come over, that dog just decided it was time to relieve himself in the house. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it was the fucking... I was like, would I just be sitting at the kitchen table and then look down, and he's just pissing on the rug. Oh, God. <laughs> he needs some diapers. <laughs> he's a pain in the ass. He's yeah, also, you should get him some depends. I should. Uh, no, this is a dog that actually destroys the house whenever storms happen, too. So oh, he's, uh, yeah, yeah, it really sucks. Uh, we ended up buying our plane tickets to Florida. Uh, my brother's getting married, and he's having a, a pre-wedding party in Orlando. Uh, so that was a hefty fucking bill that I got to do. And, I, and I'm paying for something that I really duck. I don't like to do it. Have you ever noticed how rich people fucking complain every time they have to spend some fucking money? I don't want to go. I don't want to go. And it's not because I don't want to go hang out in Florida. I don't want to fly. 
I yeah, hate flying, I don't dude. do that well either, man. No. And so I'm I sit- love to be high. I just don't like to fly. <laughs> I'm not scared of heights. It's yeah. not what gets me. I just don't like to fucking fly. It's hot in there, man. It, and there's it, no air circulation. And I feel like I'm going to fucking, I'm, I get yeah. sweaty and I get sick and I hate it. I'm I exhausted it. by the time we land because yeah. I'm white knuckling the armrest the whole fucking yeah, way. Dude, right. So that's that was depressing. I hate spending lots of money on something I really don't want to fucking do. That's the worst. Well, you're a rich person. No, that's how rich that's, people. That's, that's how y'all work. That's definitely not. Uh, but my probably the highlight of my week. Uh, it's getting closer to Christmas, right? And that happens to be my favorite holiday. Uh, of the course, and that makes complete sense. The celebration of the summer solstice. I disagree because we got you a very nice young Jewish solstice. men's calendar. <laughs> and you and didn't you seem did to like it at all. Put it up. I didn't. Yeah, I didn't do that yeah, one. That should have went up right at work behind your desk. <laughs> <laughs> I think my boss would probably not like that one. Yeah, he gets jealous. He does. Uh, but I- I'm really excited, so I got myself uh, a christmas sweater and i know we are going to have a christmas episode coming up before too long and we're not 100 percent sure who's going to be on said said episode however a ugly christmas sweater will be a requirement mm-hmm. jp okay <laughs> just so you know very well all right i'll just I wear the sweater that i wore the other day that you guys made for me <laughs> <laughs> That'll be perfect, man. <laughs> It'll be all right. I entered an ugly sweater contest when we worked together. And he, oh, just, and he and just went shirtless. No. <laughs> No, it was a sweater with a mirror tape to the front of it. <laughs> nice. And nice. I do. Hey, it I remember fucking that went sweater. over everyone's head. I remember like, nobody that. Nobody got actually. it. Actually, I thought it was funny as fuck. Uh, but other than that, my week was was pretty dull. Uh, so yeah, uh, but and plus the person that we've probably been waiting to hear from for the longest and want to know, you probably got a whole bunch of shit to talk about. You went on vacation. You did this contest thing. I went on vacation. Yeah, you did. Where'd it's, I go? You went to Chicago. Oh yeah, I did, didn't I? You went to Chicago. <laughs> I God, I went on yeah, it's been that long. Ah. So so yeah, let us know about your experiences over the last several weeks. Well, I went to the land of Chicago. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I saw somebody almost get completely ran off the fucking road. Nice. That was in St. Louis. Oh, well, that makes sense. <laughs> that was the craziest shit, man. We were driving, and like it's a spot where it opens up to like four lanes. Mm-hmm. And my wife was driving, and she was in the second lane, not the left lane, but the lane next to it. Okay. And all of a sudden, this semi comes fucking barreling up down the left lane. Like, I mean, maybe less. it was less than a foot on the ass of this car in front of him. Oh, fuck. A semi, fully loaded semi. And then all of a sudden, he fucking flips his blinker on to get in our lane, which we're right up next to him. He's caught up to us. I'm like, honey, just get in the fucking right lane. And she's like, what? But I said, just get in the lane. So he gets over in our lane after she gets in. Then he gets back in the left lane, gets on this guy's ass like, I bet, three inches. I mean, Jesus there's no Christ. room. Then shoots over all four lanes and exits. It's the craziest fucking thing I've ever seen a semi truck do. Holy shit! Yeah, I man. So we we made it to Chicago alive. That's uh, good. It was my buddy's uh, my best it? friend's wedding. <laughs> <laughs> that is correct. Yeah. Uh, okay. Very valid, well. Valid assessment. Okay. <laughs> uh, it was my my buddy's wedding, and man, he had no help. Yeah. Like, no help. So we show up, and I'm like, hey, uh, we're here. Uh, We're here, like, Friday. The wedding was Saturday, like the reception was. And I was like, let us know uh, where you want us to meet up at. We can help you set up. He's like, well, we don't get it till 11 o'clock tomorrow morning. And I'm like, okay, well, fuck. So we got, like, six hours to set up, or five at five hours. I'm like, fuck it, let's go. So we show up at like 11, at 11.30. He's like, all right, we're ready. And I'm like, okay. So we, they, we, they let us in, and it's just his f- wife setting up. That sucks. That's it. Like, he's got family in town and shit, but it's like just her. And I was like, fuck this. The night before, we went over, and we're like stuffing koozies and putting fucking tarot cards and candy and cards and shit because it was Halloween-themed. Okay. It, it was, was like, cool as fuck. It was like a tarot cards. It's that kind of way. He, he looked fucking great. He They were Beetlejuice. He was like Beetlejuice in the oh, red velvet like sick. suit. Yeah. And he had his face all painted and shit. He was in white face. And... Uh, <laughs> and and then she was Lydia, like when she's in the wedding dress. Oh yeah, and it's fucking. They were fantastic. I went as him. 
<laughs> I bought the stupidest fucking shoes. I bought New Balances. Nice. Yeah, <laughs> that's the old person thing. To nice. Do. That's what he wears. Oh. So seems like have, a cool dude. I have a pair of New Balances only worn once for sale. <laughs> uh, Put them on marketplace. Yeah, I'm gonna. <laughs> oh, I guarantee you'll sell them. Yeah, you'll, you'll have a Some Jeremy. Freak you'll have a Jeremy shoes. Joseph story by the end of that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How much you want for them Jordans? <laughs> <laughs> Not for sale. <laughs> you should just paint a swoosh on them. Nobody will know the Nobody difference. Is. Whenever I was in fucking grade school, I had a dude whose dad used to wear them, and he used to cut the N off because he thought it stood for nerd. <laughs> <laughs> well, it does. Yeah. yeah, he was. turns out he was right. Yeah. Oh, That's Jesus. funny. So we got to the venue, and hell, I mean, we helped hang lights and set all the tables up. We left at... It started, I think, at 5, and we left at 4.15 so we could get back to the hotel, change, and come back. And we got there like 30 minutes late, and they were just taking pictures. So, like, oh, everybody geez. was there, and they were still nowhere to be found. Like, it was... It was great, though. It was a great time, mm -hmm. and it all ended up good. I'm just glad we were there to help. Oh, yeah. And then uh, we tried to do the responsible thing because we were drinking at the wedding or mm -hmm. at the reception. Yeah. So I was like, we're going to Uber there, and we're going to Uber back. Yeah. Uber in there, great. Guy was awesome. Uber in back, that guy was more fucked up than we were. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. And I'm stupid and oblivious, you know, so I'm sitting in the back seat, and my wife's like, honey, I'm kind of scared. And I'm like, why? She's like, he's all over the road. I'm like, is he? <laughs> oh, fuck, he is. And I kind of look at him, or I kind of just start paying attention. I'm just watching him like, like scratching himself. Oh, oh no, no. Dude, he can't it was fucking, that bad. He can't fucking sit still. Oh, and no. I'm like, oh, Jesus <laughs> fucking Christ. And uh, I was, I, part of me wanted to be like, hey, let me get up front. We'll work as a team and get to our destination. <laughs> right? Like, we can do this. You're on uppers. I'm on downers. Let's go. <laughs> and and uh, so we get back to the hotel, and I've never done this before. I fucking reported it to Uber. Oh, I felt like oh, a dick. Oh, you're a dick. I felt like it. But I got a free Uber ride. So that was <laughs> oh, <laughs> now he's going to report everyone. Yeah, yeah, right? No kidding. I'm not as much of a dick. I didn't get a totally free Uber ride because I, I still tip the guy. Well, of course. I had to. So I still tip well, him. Well, if like, you're going to ruin his life, you might as well tip him first. <laughs> right? Asshole. <laughs> I did. Now watch what him be a, a listener. What a prick, dude. He's like, I my hope name's he is. Stan from Aurora. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. First time caller, long time listener. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> What's your Address. Something to say to Derek. Yeah, he probably knew that he was picking you up, and once he figured out who you was picking up, that's when he was like, "Oh, this guy's gonna be cool as shit." Yeah, right. I better wrong. do a fucking fucking key bump right before he gets <laughs> yeah. in the car. Jesus Christ! So, yeah, he was. Oh fuck, he was fucked up. But you lived. We did. You lived again. He came back. Unfortunately, that's all right. Uh, went down to Wrigleyville. Spent entirely too much money. Yeah. Uh, the Cubs weren't playing or nothing. They were. It was October. They usually don't. Uh, <laughs> but bought a lot of shit. Yeah. And then uh, after that, started getting ready for the contest and did the contest and then bought a new video game. Which, oh, well, before we get to the contest, what video game? Uh, it comes out. Goat Simulator 4? No. I'm on <laughs> the pre-order list though, for yeah, it. Yeah, can't wait, though. <laughs> I'm on the pre-order for it. Uh, it comes out. I, I just, when we were sitting at the bowling alley, I saw the commercial come out. I've been waiting for this game to come out forever. And it keeps getting pushed back and delayed. And I finally looked up and I was oh, like, yeah. holy fuck. There's a preview for it. Yep. Oh, shit, it comes out in two days. Uh, Avatar, Frontiers of Pandora. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I have seen that. I bet that thing's going to be visually fucking amazing on the PS5. Or shit. It's one or the other. I hope it's going to be I, awesome. Yeah, I, it's been in development forever. For like so five, six years. So I would assume years. it's going to be pretty good, yeah. Yeah. I think it'll be up you, there with Hogwarts yeah. Legacy, which was super fun. And was, I heard it was yeah. beautiful, too. Yeah, oh, it's, incre it's incredible. Yeah, I, I yeah. actually thought about buying that game. I, I mean, whenever I finish the other fucking two that I haven't finished. And Goat Simulator. You got to go <laughs> you gotta gotta get, get that one. Simulator. If you, I mean, if you're going to go Hogwarts Legacy or Goat Simulator, you got to go Goat Simulator. Goat Simulator's way better. They, yeah. they still say the most beautiful video game, at least uh, like visually ever made, was uh, one on the PS5. It was Ghost of Tsushima. Uh, Okay. It's a samurai game, but it's like visually cool. fucking beautiful. Fuck, it was, dude, it was awesome. But that cool, doesn't matter. Bro. That's beside the point. Uh, continue. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so or just be done. I can <laughs> no, be done if you no. want me to. No, 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 no. We got to get into this contest thing. So oh yeah, that's I, right. I, uh, yeah. I did. I wasn't gonna enter. Um, the kind of the tradition is is if you've won then you don't enter again. Yeah. So I was like, eh, the first week, I was like, I'm just going to go watch the qualifying round, see if anybody gets in. Nobody that had won it got in. I'm like, all right, cool. The second week, 
Uh, I didn't get to go, but I saw who got through, and I was like, okay, no, no past winners, cool. The third week, I'm on my way back from Illinois, and I message Dan. I'm like, hey, who got through? And he's like, uh, Megan and Eric uh, qualified. I said, Megan got through. Megan's like, to me, I think Megan's the funniest person in fucking town. She got through, and I was like, and she's won. And I was like, oh, shit. And he's like, yeah. And Eric went up, and Aaron went up. And I'm like, okay, so there's three past winners that have went up. Fuck it. There's one more week to qualify. I'm going to go for it. So I went up the last week, and it was me, uh, Dave Grabenik, who had won. Aaron was still there, who had won. And Grabenik has been on, like, Traveling Comedian for a while, hasn't he? Years ago, he did that, I think, in the 80s. And Dave's fucking hilarious. And then John Stringer, who is a traveling, nationally headlining comedian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That one chapped me a little bit. I'm like, come on, bro. You make that a week doing this anyway. Yeah, yeah. But, okay, So I'm like, as long as I can get in, as long as that guy doesn't win, I don't give a shit. I didn't think I was going to win. I got through the qualifying round barely, probably shouldn't have. You were on the news, dog. I know. Yeah, they they interviewed you and Dan the Man. Yeah. Which I was like, I was really proud of you, by the way, for that. You you kept your composure, looked good on television. Yeah, camera adds 70 pounds. How many cameras were on you? (laughs) All of them. 30. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, So I squeaked through. In my opinion... I shouldn't have got through the first round, and Eli Willem should have, but I somehow I they didn't see it that way. Um, so I squeaked through the first round. I did all new stuff except for one joke. The second round, I did different stuff than I did the first round. And then the final round, uh, I did different stuff than I did the other two rounds, minus like a joke, and uh, ended up I could not fucking believe I won. <laughs> uh, the photo of it, my jaw is dropped. Like yeah. complete, I was completely shocked. I was ready to shake Megan's hand. Uh, Megan got second. However, uh, she did get penalized for going over time. So that's part of why I won. Yeah. But as Dan, Dan told me, Dan was like, well, time's kind of a category too. Like, yeah. Like, okay, well that makes sense. But cause man, I've been told because since, since you've, you've been doing your thing, we had Steve and Mike on a couple of weeks ago, and mm-hmm. Mike went back to like fucking Washington for a, a comedy competition that he won years ago yeah. to be to Seattle. be a host in Seattle, mm-hmm. right? And when we were discussing like being over on time, like they don't get penalized until you're over by like forty five seconds or something like that, right? In Wichita, you get penalized pretty goddamn quick. She was over like thirty one seconds, yeah. or something, yeah. So it's, I was actually kind of impressed because I didn't realize like we are that much more like tightly. Right. Tight, yeah. Well, yeah. They probably got a lot more yeah, professional was, yeah. comics oh, out there. That's probably true, but that's, which I, mean, I guess you would think that that would probably be a little more tight. There. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. I so, love it tight. I heard. <laughs> yeah. So I don't, I still can't believe I won. Uh, I'm the only one that's now I'm the only dickhead that's entered twice <laughs> and won twice, not entered twice, but won twice. I, I did not uh, get to go. I really wanted to go. I really did. Um, because, I mean, even if you didn't win, I wanted to see some of the other people. Megan Welsh has been on the show before a long, long time ago. She fucking crushed I heard, And I, I, heard and I had crushed. to follow her, and I was like, I'm fucked. <laughs> <laughs> But like a lot of other people, a lot of newer, a lot of like up and coming guys, I really wanted to see. Um, but I'm really proud of you, dog. I'm really proud of you. Uh, yeah, and I was ha- I was happy. And we posted shit on Facebook and Twitter and and Instagram whenever you did win. That is the most liked thing we've ever had. On Are our you shitty ass, dude? I still like the dude that was like, did Wichita run out of people? <laughs> <laughs> And then the one that asked if there's actually a photo of me smiling. <laughs> well, there is. I look like a fucking tard when I smile. <laughs> like, <laughs> uh, I, hey man, you're not gonna like this. <laughs> I got bad news for you. You don't have to be smiling. Yeah. <laughs> You'd still fuck me. I didn't say I wouldn't. No, I didn't say I wouldn't. But God, I mean, it's charity. Yeah. So I was shocked. And well, then we booked our vacation, which I'm pumped for. Oh so. God, tell them about where you're going. We're going to Japan. That's fucking dope. So. I'm excited. I'm thinking they might want me to wrestle. <laughs> I'm thinking, I'm thinking yeah, I'll bring my diaper. I might. I might get my depends. There you go. I need to have a diaper party before I go. Before you go, yes. That way 100%. I can train. Uh huh. You yeah. can get a Cubs diaper, dude. That'd you know great. what's fucking crazy is so I've been following these things on TikTok and like one. There's one girl I follow and she lives out there, but she's I think she's American. She speaks English, doesn't have much of an accent to me, so I'm thinking that she's from here. Do her, um, do her eyes look all the way open? 
I think so. Yeah. Wow. Okay. It's crazy. But she's talking about how like right now it's it's actually kind of cheap there like the oh, that yeah, makes the dollar sense. strong to the yen and she was like and if you wanted to come out here you wouldn't have to talk to anybody there's vending machines for everything and i knew this right yeah and they have crazy shit in these vending machines but they had a vending machine and it she's like look at this one and it was like beef curry uh something else i can't remember what it was and then horse sashimi <laughs> oh my god and i was like Huh? <laughs> like, that's raw horse. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. Like, I know what sashimi is. They get so much shit for eating dogs, too. I mean, I try dog. I'm going to, if they got dog or horse, I'm going to fucking try it. You dude. should. I'm going to try the horse. You should. I just want to go into a restaurant and learn how to say, I'll take the horse, please. <laughs> how, how's the horse? How's the horse? <laughs> yeah. uh, how's the how's the, the chef horse? has prepared it magnificently this evening. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Jesus how, Christ. I heard this has, this place has the best horse in town. Yeah. <laughs> just fuck. <laughs> That's I so want to try it. I totally do. And now on this week's show, horse talk. Yeah. All over Oh, again. dude, we could totally have, we got to have Jeremy on as soon as I get back. <laughs> That's so talk true. all about it. Yes. That's fucking great. <laughs> Jeez. The horse sashimis. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Uh, but anything else? I think that's it. Okay. I don't, I don't think I got anything else. Uh, I don't tell stories well. So no, that's okay. We should move on. Okay. <laughs> I I just know you you updated your your trophy cases and stuff like that. I thought that looked. Really I did cool. do that too. Yeah. yeah. And, and looks I got good. a new display case, yeah. which was cool. But now my wall is like full. Can you fit a funniest person in Wichita twenty twenty three belt? Probably on top of a display case. I might I might know some folks that could hook you up with that. Is it the guy that made that badass one? <laughs> That That's thing true. Is sweet. There is a, and those who oh, don't know or don't remember the episode, belt. there is a, a a kid that actually made us a belt out of like looks like cardboard and and I still have that. It is still in the studio. It's fucking and, awesome. And it's fucking dope as shit. I don't know. Maybe we can uh, maybe we can reach out to him. Uh, I know we got another couple of uh, things that announcements at least. Uh, people are asking about the PO box. Uh, I think I'm going to probably end that permanently. I think. I think that's a smart thing. That motherfucker is expensive. Uh, yeah, they're like $400 a year. Yes. Yeah, fuck that. Fuck that. And so. Um, Let's just give them your address. <clears throat> one, yeah, one, no, one. Yeah, no. Uh, so there's one, that. One. No. One, one, one. Uh huh. One, 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 one. Keep on going. Uh, but there's that. And then also, uh, I did want to send it, say thank you to all of those folks. Uh, apparently like at the end of the year, Spotify comes out with like, it's called your wrapped. Uh, it's your year yeah, of yeah. everything that you listen to. And there was quite a few thousand of people that we are their number one podcast nice. that they listen to. So I want to say thank yeah. you to all of you guys out there that sent us that. That's really That's awesome. fucking cool. We are now in 49 countries. I was told. Oh, and that's our, a lot of countries. Uh -huh, Should I stream it in Japan and make it a cool 50? 100%. Oh, sure. <laughs> but the one that has increased the most this year, which I thought was really cool, Poland. I oh, thought, the Polish. Yeah. Yes. They love, us in, they love us in Poland. <laughs> like, maybe it was because I thought that Polak was actually what they preferred to be called. I don't think it is. It's not. Yeah. No. I just didn't know. See, I'm right. naive. Polish uh, guys are hot. Yeah. Okay. Mitch Trubisky's family. Is really <laughs> yeah, it's right up your alley. Uh, speaking of which, he's going to be the starting quarterback uh, the next couple of weeks for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Uh, <laughs> good good luck. luck with that, kids. Uh, uh, but anyways, uh, that was our week, week recap. Now we get to move on to the headlines. We've got uh, quite a bunch of shit that's going on. And if we didn't kick it off with the absolute clusterfuck that is college football, we would be doing this show an absolute disgrace. There is a shitstorm that happened over the weekend. Good friend of the show. I did not lose a bet, but I decided to wear Justin Nunnally's shirt because over the weekend, uh, the... They should get that in your size. It's... it's <laughs> I should lose weight is what it should happen. Uh, but... <laughs> you're a dick. <laughs> but uh, the Alabama Crimson Tide ends up beating Georgia for the SEC championship, thus causing a huge problem with the selection committee for college football playoffs. This is the last year of the college football playoffs, and uh, Florida State is undefeated, Washington is undefeated, and Michigan is undefeated. And you've got Georgia, who's got one loss, uh, against Alabama, who has one loss against Texas. So, whoops, it got all fucked up. Florida State's pissed off that they did not get in as an undefeated team out of the ACC, who had a uh, not as good of a schedule compared to the SEC schools. Uh, Texas ends up getting in 
with their one loss being Oklahoma and Alabama gets in with their one loss being Texas. So lots of people kind of pissed off about Florida state not getting in. Do you have an opinion on this, sir? He's on your boob. He is. You've got nunley nips. Nunley nips. (laughs) Yeah. Um, I would have, I would have left out Texas. Okay. And put in Florida state. And I would have left out Alabama and put in Georgia. Okay, even after getting beat. Even after getting beat by Alabama. Ooh. Because Alabama had that close loss to Auburn. Like, that should have been a loss. Like, that was that Hail Mary. So I would have still let Georgia. I would have put Georgia as the four. Florida State is the three. Michigan is one. And See, I I think I went the other direction. I I have Florida State getting in, but I have Texas coming in in the fourth spot. And all of the rest of the undefeateds, because so I no think, SEC at all. No S. Well, technically Texas will be an SEC school next year, so you yeah. can ha- have them represent the SEC because they have a win over Alabama, who has a win over Georgia, and so that was the only thing in my mind that made sense. However, that's not what so happened. Weaker conference, though. Big <clears throat> what, the Big 12? Mm-hmm. I mean, it is. And, and this is the argument. It's like, look at the eye test. Well, Florida State is down their quarterback, but it's like they did everything that you possibly can do. They didn't lose. They, they did not lose a single game. I think it's unfair that Alabama did get in because of the things that you mentioned. Cl- a lot more close games, things like that, to where they should have lost against Auburn, and you're exactly right. Um, and so that's why I'm like, I don't, I don't give, I don't, I don't think you should give credit to those teams like that, especially when Florida state did everything that they could and, and won every single game. Um, but it's, it's becoming a clusterfuck in, in uh, college football, but we will see what happens. I um, heard, I heard a thing that I think would be great is if they go down to the orange bowl, I, I a guy on TikTok and said something about it, go down to the orange bowl. Party all week in South Beach. Oh, yeah. And then when they bring the teams out, and as soon as they go out for the coin toss, just be like, nah, walk back in the locker room and not fucking play. Oh, Jesus. Uh, that would be I so think that bad. that would be epic. Oh, it would be epic, but, man, that'd be uh, crazy. Um, but, yeah, I, I was very jealous of Nunnally, though. He got, to, he got to hang out with a couple of British guys that I follow on TikTok. Uh, Josh and Jace, and take them to their first uh, American football game. Damn, I was hoping it was Pete and Boss. Well, <laughs> yeah, it was pretty fucking cool. You got to see Very who those jealous. guys are. They're great if you don't know who they, that is. Yeah. They're British rappers. They're like 80, and uh, it's fucking great. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's great. They got bars, Scotty. Yeah, I believe you. Uh, moving on to uh, some some NFL news that we had over the last sure. week. I don't know if you guys saw. Uh, obviously, this is none of the statistics and wins and losses. This You can find that shit on ESPN. What about autistic? I didn't say that. Oh. No, no. I thought you said autistic wins and losses. Uh, I mean, we can go ahead and say that, that I did say that. That's fine. I think Rain Man's an autistic win. I mean, oh, the guy, for sure. The guy could count cards. He sure oh, yeah. could. Like a son of a take, take him to Vegas. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Uh, but no, uh, during the uh, uh, New Orleans Saints game, I don't know if you guys saw this, but there was a sign line worker, the guy that was moving the chains during that game, and Alvin Kamara had a scary collision with him and fucked up his leg. Alvin Kamara's leg or this other guy's leg? The guy's, it was the, right. oh, it was the chain sucks. gang's leg. That's Oh, sucks. fuck. That fucked it up bad. Bad. Huh? Ooh. Bad. Yeah, it's not supposed to bend that way. Ouch. It's definitely not. That's not great. Yeah, so I don't know if everybody saw that, but whenever uh, limbs and fingers and stuff like that bend the incorrect way, Man. that's what gets me. That's yeah, why I can't I be can't, an EMT yeah. anymore. <laughs> yeah, I don't blame you. What, is, what about a snapped ween? Uh, Are you all right with one of those? Yeah, be a, <laughs> <an after-ween. laughs> a gonzo dick. Is that yeah. what you're talking about? Yeah, like where it pops out, and then she goes to sit back on it and just, <laughs> ah! Oh, no. Whenever you write Now, angle. all of a sudden, it's looking like it's going to make a left turn out of your <laughs> pelvis. Just... <laughs> Whenever, whenever you even see stuff like that or hear about stuff like that, does yeah. anybody else's balls get tingly? Oh. Like, because it's, it, it, it's not supposed to go that way? I think it's the Ben Gay. Oh, is that what it yeah. is? Yeah, you maybe you should just rub a little less on there. Oh, okay, I'll okay. try that from now on. Uh, let's. I know we've talked about this before, but I wanted to bring it up because now Roger Goodell actually has an opinion on this. He wants to ban the Eagles' signature play, the brotherly shove or the tush push. That's actually JP's signature play. I was just getting ready <laughs> to say those thieves. <laughs> those thieves? <laughs> thieves, that's my fucking play. Oh, oh, okay. Well, what do you think? Do you think that the commissioner of football – 
should change something that has basically only no. benefited one team. One team is as consistent. Now they run it consi- uh, or successfully. There are like other 90% people. There are other people around the league that are starting to run the same play and work on doing it themselves. And they can't. And, and they, they can't, can't do, do it. it. So that's the, the, Stop. why. Yeah. Yeah. It's like I don't understand this. Me neither. It's stupid. So dumb. You can't ban it. No. And it's I, a legal fucking play. It is totally legal. And and I and guess if you can't stop it, that's good. That's what you're kind of what you're going for as a football team. I is, agree. To I, make to make plays they can't stop. Initially, his uh, his entire concern was the safety of everybody in the in the play. This is fucking football. Well, not to mention, you're going this far. You're going that far. So I think that's safer than fucking running head on into fucking somebody. Like when you catch a pass in the middle of the field, yeah, and you get fucking freight trained. Sure. I and mean, then, that seems like it might be a little worse. I agree. So let's ban passing. Yeah. You know, I all mean, all the great passers. Right. Let's yeah, just it's an advantage. It's an advantage. Yeah. What about you, Derek? What do you think they should do? I think it's absolutely stupid. <laughs> it, it yeah, just, uh, it's ridiculous. It just, I guess stop it. If you don't uh, want it to happen, don't let it get to third and one or fourth and That's one. That's kind of where I'm at, too. And yeah. then, like, what are they supposed to do? Oh, so, okay, so you can't do the brotherly shove, but you can still do quarterback sneaks. Yeah, it's the same thing. That's the same thing. In fact, I bet you it's a little bit more dangerous for the quarterback, at least. Because they're not in a big pile. Yeah, exactly. And I think this is more of a a testament to how good Jason Kelsey really is as a center. I agree. He's a small guy, but he's quick as shit. He's really the one. It's the offensive line that gets that first push, and that's why the Eagles are – so good at it. However, it didn't fucking matter because they got their ass kicked. Yeah, they did. Tush push or not, they Ooh. got waxed. I'm that is sorry. that is the only sport where they change the rules like every fucking year. I'm tired of it. It's terrible. I am. I'm sick and like fucking you can't tired look at record like eh, you know what we're gonna add a game now. Everybody's getting two thousand yards rushing and shit. Oh and yeah, it's like yeah eh, we're gonna have, and we're they're gonna... calling it a record. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's ridiculous. Right. Yeah. Right. That's what I'm saying. I I, I feel I like what my dad felt like probably whatever they made baseball a hundred and sixty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like how many yeah like that's bullshit that's babe ruth's record yeah 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 but no i i i think they're getting a little bit crazy because there are there's a whole bunch of records being broken you had puka nakua who got the most whoa, receiving whoa. yards who puka nakua he's a wide receiver for the los angeles rams that he broke the team sounds like a slur and it's not he's he's not I, I promise he's not, <laughs> but he he broke the Rams wide receiver record for most receptions for a, or uh, most yards for a rookie, uh, and then you got Tyree Kill who's just going to absolutely slaughter the shit Which out of two thousand. Awesome. And good for him. Yeah, good for dude. everybody. Made fun of Tua for the longest time about he, Tua is not going to be able to get it to right. him. Oh, he's getting it to him just fine, <laughs> just fine, just fucking fine. Yeah. Uh, but uh, probably the highlights of of my week. I don't know about you, JP. Uh, I know the I know the Broncos did not win their game. Right. Then that's okay. Which really sucks. It sucks. But but the Green Bay Packers ended up beating the Kansas City Chiefs in made Lambeau. Made it a little better. Made it a little better. Taylor Swift was there. Yep. Didn't fucking matter. No. And I kind of feel a little bit better about my Lions getting the shit kicked out of the Green Bay Packers the week yeah, before. Right. Uh, so but Packers yeah. have won two in a row now. Yes. Yeah. Oh shit. Oh shit. And, and actually, the only reason why I brought this up, Derek, because I know you absolutely despise the Kansas City Chiefs mm-hmm. as well. Mm-hmm. Do you? Are you happy that the Packers beat the Chiefs, or do you? Or would you rather have the Chiefs won? That's a little game I like to call the nine eleven bowl. Because <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping a seven forty seven would flew oh, right in the middle man. of the fucking stadium. Just fucking take them all yeah, out. Yeah, and I you like can say, that. what about the innocent? But their fans are assholes too. Let's yeah. get them all there's gone. No, there's no innocence in that stadium. <laughs> I don't know. I, there, I'm I gonna actually, catch hate for that one, uh, probably. But that's okay. <laughs> that's, that's totally fine. Uh, I I think, especially after this whole ordeal with this kid getting absolutely ridiculed about the face paint thing, I I kind of have a different tune to, to to the Chiefs fans. At least I think it's gonna be really cool if they decide to do what I think they're gonna do. I don't know the face paint thing. There was a nine year old kid. His name is Holden Arme- Armenta. Uh, and he had, there was a picture blown up all over. We talked about it last week, but he had half black face, half red face, and a whole headdress of a Kansas City Chiefs, like chief, right? And he was at the game. And they, there was a person on Deadspin that took a picture where they only showed the black side of his face to ridicule the kid saying he's going in blackface. Well, then they made it even worse because then all the pictures were coming out and said, oh, well, he's got half red, half black. 
And the person was like, oh, that's even worse. He's, he's making fun of the Native Americans. Well, when we reported on this last week, when we talked about this last week on last week's episode, we did not have all of the details. We knew enough to where it could be like, dude, this is kind of fucked up. They're just going after the kid, which is bullshit. Well, what comes out later is that this kid, his grandfather is actually on like the council of an actual Native American tribe. So it's 10 times worse. And now which I think is extremely smart. The parents of this kid are now lawyering up and threatening to sue Deadspin for defamation of character. And I think they've got a case because, mm. uh, yeah, I think that it probably could happen. I think both are dumb. What? <laughs> the, what, the chiefs? The people getting like the half black face, had half red face, but also the sue happy. Yeah. Like, I think both of that's just fucking stupid. I, It'd be like I, if you won Wichita's Funniest Person <laughs> and then went and did it again. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't take It would pride. be like that. No. Okay. I feel sleazy. Well, you right? should feel sleazy. But here's the thing. You want to feel, you want to feel more sleazy? <laughs> no, I want to show you this. This I, fucking, I felt even uh, worse. He's, he's got to pull it up. No, I'm going to pull it out. Uh, I, felt, I felt even worse. Let us know. With yeah, this. let us know when you do that. Cause I don't think we'll be able to tell. Probably not. There you go. I know who sent Big sent it to me. I just thought it was funny because there was a comment that somebody had on Facebook, and then JP was just like, "Shots fired." What was it? It was a. Uh, where do I draw the line or something? Or yeah. it was one of them. Some, like some how like, many times is too many to win Wichita <laughs> funniest yeah. person or something like that. I was like, <laughs> one, yes, one time. Yes. <laughs> so that's where I was shocked that I won. Right. Yeah. This is the oh, shitty that's part. That's a good one. This is the oh. shitty part. Look at poor me. Oh, oh no. no. She is like, fuck this guy. Oh, she really is. Yeah. Oh. She's not happy I felt about so bad. She's not happy for you at all. She no. shouldn't be. <laughs> hey, I felt so bad. Yeah. That's awesome. Because she, yeah, dude, she fucking should have won. I'm just saying. That's but. okay. But uh, anyways, back to the suing. No, she shouldn't have. Somebody that had never won should have won. That would have been would have Jeremy been Rush. That would have been ideal. Well, yeah. it would have been John Stringer then. It would have been the... Yeah, yeah well. Uh, moving, anyway, moving, moving on, on. Moving on to the suing happy. Um, we've, we've talked about a lot of... I mean, the whole time whenever they were trying to get rid of the Washington Redskins nickname, whenever that was going on, well, now the actual Native American Guardians Association um, are actually suing the Washington Commanders because they actually took... Uh, the chief uh, uh, that was the like picture of the chief on the helmet and they basically and they and I'm quoting them so they said the logo on the Redskins helmet is an actual person it's Chief Whitecalf every time they go out on the field they were honoring Chief Whitecalf and they were battling on the football field with the same honor and integrity and courage they should continue to honor that they want the Redskins name to be back this is an actual the Native American Guardians Association Oh shit! I don't know if I'd want to be associated with that football team. If I was them. <laughs> well, now well, they, you know what? Let's just name them the Honkies and call it good. Yeah, <laughs> right. is, well, we got Snyder is gone, so at least they're they're trying to change things around. But I mean, do you think that there's a possibility that they would go from the Redskins to the football team to now the Commanders to back to the Redskins? Well, they definitely said they're going to change the name from the Commanders. They did? Yeah. Oh, I didn't def- see that. I heard they that's what I I saw on Good because that name is shit. That they were going to change from that anyway no matter what. That name is new, shit. When the new owners took control of That them. would be fucking great if they if they did. They're going to be the Washington Blackface. <laughs> <laughs> and that kid is going <laughs> to be their kid mascot. That's going to be the mascot. Yeah. Right on the side of the helmet. Right. Apparently it's going to be black on one side and then red right on, on the, the other, other. side. Yeah. 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 There is yeah. a rumor I think going around that the next Kansas City Chiefs home game which I believe is against the Buffalo Bills coming up this weekend that they're going to let him bang the drum to bring out the Kansas City Chiefs and there are all, a bunch of fans that are going to do the exact same thing that that kid did. So we'll see how that goes. But yeah, be a lot of fun. Uh, and last but certainly not least, I just picked this one because I thought it was kind of funny. Uh, but Macaulay Culkin uh, got a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame for Home Alone 1 and 2. Nice. That's it. It's still one of my favorite Christmas movies of all time. Both of them. I don't give a shit. But he got it. He got a fucking Walk of Fame star. 
What do we have to do to get a Walk of Fame star? Well, first thing you got to do is win Wichita's Funniest Person <laughs> yeah. times. two times. Yeah. Once you do that, I think you're pretty much in. <laughs> yeah, I think Has so. Has anyone written the commission? And I, I, I don't know. I should do that. I should. You know what? I'm gonna letter. I'm gonna fucking start a, a petition that we do a Wichita Walk of Fame downtown somewhere, I mean, and that Derek is the first, <laughs> <laughs> the first star. On the uh, on the side perfect. on the sidewalk of fame. When am I? I'm gonna have to come and sweep the shit off of it like, <laughs> daily. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Because there's gonna be a lot of sh- people shitting on it. Yeah. Oh, We're man. gonna put it right outside the Lord's Diner. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Nice. Yeah. Because I'm very wow. lordy. You mm-hmm. are. Cool. Yeah. Very. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah I, I, <clears throat> and am- I like to dine. Yeah. So there that you go. Is Works spot. out. Well, yeah. What about the podcast prodigy? Where do I get mine? I don't I get, is mine right next to Derek's? Look, this is awkward, man. <laughs> you just made this real awkward. Yours is right outside the glory hole of the Flying J. <laughs> yes. <Okay. laughs> yes. Oh, that's that's my favorite place, Derek. I know. You worked there for a lot of years. No, I did. I did. <laughs> great, made great money, though. They say when you love what you do, you never work a day in your life. 100%. That's what they say. That's why I suck dick. <laughs> <laughs> great uh anything else you guys wanted to bring up as current events i don't, I, I just kind of blew through all of that oh, that sounds good you looks catch, good catch that blew through all of that i hear you oh yeah. that was a sucking dick hey, joke that was. Look yeah, at yeah, that. Well, he's crazy. on one today I, I am i am i'm in a great mood I, you I'm are look i haven't seen you smile this much i know I'm for like a couple mood. weeks that's it's cool. crazy it's because of that news you guys sm- fucking no i don't know he wouldn't be if that was the case he wouldn't be smiling yeah i'm drugging you and fucking you you just don't know about it oh. anyways that is headlines for this week ladies and gentlemen now we get to move on to the fun parts of the show that you guys actually participate in every single week we have monday fun day uh, where we post on our social medias and you guys get to actually leave comments of what you would suggest uh, for segments for this week's episode um and i gotta say there was a lot of them that were repeats this week come on guys step it up what are you doing yeah. Um, but I did pull a lot from uh, from uh, previous did. suggestions. I did, um, but uh, there were definitely uh, some good ones out there. So don't be discouraged. I'm but. shocked. Why Taylor Morosky is not on here anywhere? And you know what? She's got a fucking list of them, and I could have pulled some of them from her first. But I figured let's let's have some newer people be on. Yeah, fuck you, Taylor. No, nah, I love Taylor. Uh, but there was even <laughs> there, there was even a whole there was even a guy that was just like I'll vote for whatever Taylor said. Yeah, right. And I was like, that's, that's pretty awesome. cool. But no, every single one of these I see them. So if you've kept on putting the same one over and over and over and yeah, over we're again, probably not going to pick it. I, it's even more of a reason for not to pick it. You know yeah. what I mean? And then we're not going to pick anything you say because you're a fucking tool (laughs) (laughs) i did not say that jp said that uh but no uh anyways this week we have never have i ever that we're going to kick this thing off with uh first one comes in from twitter this is from ian smoke pw uh he wants to know never have i ever stayed on the phone when someone butt dialed you Oh, of course I have. Fuck yeah. I as have. long as I possibly can just to see what's yes. going on. Like if, if I just start hearing a boring ass conversation or I can, and then I'll just hang up. But sometimes, man, there might be some shit you need to know. Boring ass conversation. If I hear a conversation, You're period, in. Yeah. I'm in. I'm in. And my favorite part is when they get all the way and then they check their phone because everybody checks their phone every couple of seconds. When they check the phone, go, oh, fuck. That's my favorite part because then it's like, ha, I got all of that. So absolutely, I have done this multiple times. How about you, Derek? I like to scream sex noises. <laughs> so well, then, especially if they're in public and they don't realize they've done it, and then you just hear, oh, yeah, fuck that ass. <laughs> fuck that ass. And then just... It's weird. <laughs> <laughs> like, I think you left your phone on. <laughs> I was just getting ready to say, what's Derek's sex noises sound like? No, I don't want to know. Oh, come on. No, I wanted to make it sound like they're watching a porno movie. Uh, Have you ever played with that stuff, Gak? <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's what all yeah, my noises that's sound pretty like. Much, yeah. flarp. It's like yeah. flarp. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's great. Uh, next one comes in from Instagram. This is from Aaron Johnston. Uh, he wants to know, never have I ever had to do the sniff test before having sex. Does this mean the sniff test on yourself or the person you're getting ready to have sex with? Either way, I'm in. I don't, <laughs> I don't give a fuck what I smell like. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah? Nah. No. I'm going to Dutch oven her during the middle of it anyway. <laughs> I, can say, I can say with true, pure honesty, I've never done it because I stay ready. Okay, well that's good for you. But do you did you do it to them? The other person. 
Well, I mean, yeah, that's I, a that, yes. That's a yeah. yeah, sure, we'll go with yes. Yeah, then that's okay, the short know. answer. Uh, absolutely, you have you. Oh, fuck yeah! Oh, really? Absolutely. You, know, you got to kind of nonchalantly do it. You just kind <laughs> yeah. of gotta be like, <laughs> you just like slow, like just quickly across the face, and then you're like, yeah. oh shit, my phone's ringing. Yeah, uh, I, I mean, I definitely have before. You kind of have to like rub, rub it just really quickly, and then have you ever oh, had? You, have you ever had? Is that how you do it? Like, hang on a minute. <laughs> <laughs> like he's washing a fucking yeah. like he's washing a plate or or no if you're like going in from behind so she can't see uh, you and then oh yeah uh, like that yeah, yeah. I, mean, I imagine it's always before. an uh uh i've had some one night stands were very oh, very questionable yeah. it was not it was vagina not vagina that can't smell good yeah well because i mean that's one of those really important things that tells you whether or not you want to go down there to have a good time you know what i'm saying i can already tell you i do not I, and, <laughs> and if it smells like pennies run yeah no it's gonna look like no. a goddamn crime scene when you're finished <laughs> oh, it smells oh, like yeah. pennies god that's disgusting <laughs> Mm. Oh, that's disgusting. But all right. Uh, anyways, uh, next one uh, comes in from Instagram. This is Chase Golden. He wants to know: Never have I ever forgot to buy my wife a Christmas gift. Of course you haven't. Forgot to buy my wife a Christmas. Yeah, come on. Nobody's that fucking stupid. Not even Chase Golden. Yeah, you're right. How about you, Derek? No, not at all. Nobody's that forgot? fucking dumb, dude. No. You've never forgot about you have you really done me? that, dude? I wouldn't no have way. a wife if I did that. Huh? Have you really done that? Next question. All right, let's go ahead. Wow. Okay. What so, a piece of all right, shit. All right. Okay. You I'm are a piece of shit. And I, I I say that as a joke most of the time. Okay, that is a joke. I have never for actually forgot to buy my wife a present. You just purposely. You just didn't. purposely <laughs> didn't because you don't deserve it, bitch. You've been bad all year. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Nailed it. No, we have an un- we have an understanding between each other uh, because both of us, if we really both of us really want something, I don't like I don't like um, like you're supposed to buy me a gift on this day kind of thing. All right, like for Christmas, I will absolutely go out and buy her flowers or something like that. But my favorite thing, so don't fucking look at me like that. Uh, my favorite kind of thing is whenever I surprise her with a gift and totally catch her off guard she appreciates that way more too she tells me you should surprise her with the best gift divorce papers (laughs) (laughs) you want to really make her happy no we both know we don't board into a tree we don't like getting each other gifts because we both feel like each other are pretty hard to shop for because if she wants something she goes out and buys it for herself if i want something i go out and buy it for myself that's what that's what rich people people do do. (laughs) yeah that is what rich people do so whenever she says i want something i i am more excited to get it for her as soon as possible because i want it to surprise her and she loves that more so that's the correct yeah. answer yeah but neither of you have forgot so good for you uh anyways <laughs> next one <laughs> i've never been married that's well boyfriend yeah yeah you bought your boyfriend something no no why they are buy, you fucking ridiculing me for they buy me stuff oh is that yeah oh okay are you daddy i'm daddy that's weird fuck i was so weird i didn't uh, like that matter of fact you can call me big dad <laughs> okay no <laughs> moving on call him bd for short yeah. <laughs> okay maybe that'll that's, make you feel a little more comfortable that's bd not vd <laughs> okay, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> apparently it's illegal to get married in what state if you have I that i can't remember I but it's one of them it's it was mine it was yeah. one of mine all right uh let's see next one comes in from instagram this is from dev dev uh, he, wants, dev, dev. he wants to know, never have I ever convinced a cop I'm fine to drive after a night of heavy drinking. So technically, no, I haven't. But technically, yes, I have. Oh, because one time we a friend of mine, we were at one bar and we closed it down pretty much. I mean, and by closing it down, they were closing the bar mm-hmm. and we bought. All the alcohol they had left, <laughs> wow. pretty much. Okay. I spent almost two grand in that bar. Holy fuck. That night. Wealthy person bullshit. So, I don't want to hear that. So then we're on our way out of there, and we are fucking piss drunk. And we just happened to drive right by Fantasy. And the gay bar here in town. So I, I, I look no, at... Actually, I think it's the water park. It was Barnacle Bills. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, I, I look it's at the clock, slides. and it's like 10 till 2. And I'm like, they're just doing last call. And I look over and I'm like, dude, we got time. He's like, yep. So we fucking start to pull into fantasy. And as we do, a cop comes in behind and lights, 
camera action. Oh, great. So he walks up to the car and he gets our IDs or whatever. And my buddy's name, he goes by one name, but his real name is something different. Okay. Uh, and so he said, and I had, I 100% thought that the, the, his name was Jackson. Okay. We had been friends for eight years. I had no <laughs> idea he that it was a nickname. Wow. So he walks up to the car gets our ids or whatever goes back to his car comes back and he's like which one of you is walter and i'm like i go by jackson too i'm like there's no yeah right i'm like there's no walter in the car sir and he's like yeah there is i've got his id and i'm like is your name really walter and we just have dude like a five minute conversation about this cop is just standing there <laughs> watching us talk gotta know we're fucking fleeced man I oh mean, for sure he just and then all of a sudden a call comes over the radio it must have been something important because he throws the ids back at us and he goes you boys get home right now throws the ids back in the car hops in his car and takes off oh fuck and you're like, let God. me see this id yeah. so fucking exactly. walter yeah i was like god damn it really is well yeah it was crazy God, my name, yeah i'd totally go by jackson so like, guess, hey, my name's jackson mahomes yeah was, no shit i definitely got out of a dui that night um and into walter and into <laughs> yes yes oh, I'm sure. mm-hmm. uh i have i have definitely uh convinced a police officer that i was the soberest out of everybody to drive home uh i got very very lucky one night and it was whenever i was underage and i was the one who was not drinking and uh everybody else was fucked up i may have had like a beer too but he was like can you get them home safe and i'm like yes i'm i'm sober and so yeah i have i actually have done this before so nice i have how about you derek uh, I've convinced my wife I'm fine. <laughs> night of heavy Which actually might be harder to do, honestly, knowing knowing it your is, wife. That might is. be tougher. Uh, and then she walked home. Uh, <laughs> wow. Wow. Oh. No, it's no a Christmas present that year. Yeah. It says convinced. I got it's... an Uber gift card. <laughs> <laughs> he's got a he's got a free ride. Oh, shit. All right. I hope I never have to convince a cop of anything. Oh, no. That would be the fucking worst. It's not a drinking story, but whenever I was... I was a fucking terrible teenager, dude, and I stole a lot of shit. And I remember uh, what I used to steal was baseball cards. And now it's comedy competitions. (laughs) Ah, I knew I should have went 13 minutes over. Uh, I... Uh, so I used to do, like baseball cards, basketball cards, football cards, and we went to this fucking like, like a ham radio convention, <laughs> as never, one does. Yeah, it was my buddy's dad. I was fourteen. Yeah, and we go to this fucking convention, and uh, we started stealing baseball. It was like a bunch of people had shit set up to sell, and one of them was like a sports card vendor. So we started fucking doing our thing and taking sports cards, and uh, I had had. I didn't have a suitcase of my own. I was using like one of my mom's travel bags and it had like a, you know, that piece a hard piece of plastic that goes in the bottom of it. So it yeah, doesn't yeah, go yeah, like this. You. So right, it doesn't right, right. like yeah. Yeah. dip. Yeah. So I had taken all my shit and I put it underneath that hard piece of plastic. Right. Cause the guy, I got caught. The guy was like, what are you doing? I see you holding that card down there. And I'm like, huh? Oh yeah. I was thinking about buying it. And he's like, well, we've had some stuff coming up missing the last day. So um, either you need to buy it or you need to go. And I'm like, well, I'm going to tell you right now, if you're going to accuse me of stealing, then I'm fucking Yeah, right, right, right. And I put the fucking car back and left. And I was like, all right. Well, it's a a place where you, you, like, you stay in in the camp. It was like a bunch of RVs and campers and shit. So we stayed in the camper. And my buddy's dumbass, the next day, we had one more day we had to be there. And he's like... I'm going to set up baseball cards to sell. I'm oh, like, no. I'm like, don't fucking do this, dude. Don't do this. And he's like, no, no, I'm not going to put out the ones I stole. And I'm like, all right. So he goes and he sets them all up. And not even fucking five minutes later, I hear the gravel kick up. A guy go, baseball cards. And a guy gets out of the the dude that we'd, he'd, we both had stolen from. And uh, a cop get out of that fucking golf cart, and they go into the RV, and they start looking through our shit. If he was driving a golf cart, he wasn't a cop. He was a security officer. <laughs> and there's the a f- big difference. <laughs> a lot of those guys are off-duty cops. Uh-huh. But, uh, still not. Sure. But still, anyway, yeah, sure. Sure anyway he's in the RV going through our shit. And he's searching through my suitcase, that bag, and I've got all my shit underneath there. And you can see my heart beat out my fucking chest. And uh, he's pulling all the clothes and stuff out, and he never lifted that flap. 
and he tossed my empty bag back to me open, and it goes end over end, and I'm like, that flap's going to dip, and all the shit's going to spill out. It didn't. I grab it. I snatch it. I get it close, and I start putting all my clothes back in it. Well, I didn't know this. My buddy was really good because he kept moving. He had just a brown paper sack full of shit. I didn't know he took as much shit as he did, and he kept moving it. Every time the cop would go, like, look here, he'd just fucking move it over here. And finally, his brother had seen it, and his brother was like, What's this? No, and, what? Uh, and grabs his no. paper sack, and there they all are. What? And so this guy's got a price guide out, and he's trying to fucking add them all up. And the oh. dude's like, you got them back. He goes, well, I don't have all of them back. And he goes, yeah, because there's some stuck in your suitcase. <laughs> right. Yeah. And so, oh man, you're... long story short, the dude fucking leaves, and we're like, oh, fuck. Well, my buddy's brother is mentally retarded. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> he literally is. Okay. And I, we blamed it on him. We're like, <laughs> we think it's weird that Andy knew where everything was just all of a sudden. Wow. And Dude, fucking- just when I think your story can't get worse. <laughs> You, you bring that angle in. And totally redeem <laughs> and yourself. Totally redeem yourself. Oh, always blame the retard. Whoa. <laughs> but turns out that guy in, in real... In, in the long run, became was a real asshole and did really shitty shit. The, wow. the guy that you stole from? No, the guy that we blamed it on. Oh, no. The brother. That's too bad. The retarded kid. <laughs> yeah. You never want to think it's the retarded kid. You never kid. want to. That's so mean. But. Yeah, he used to steal like a lot of fucking bikes and shit. And yeah. then as he got older, he did even worse shit. So. Yeah. Wow. Okay, well. Crap, that went way off. Man. That's kilter, okay. That shit happens. I was uh, a bad uh, child. <laughs> you were a bad you child. You were a fucking piece of shit. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So not much has changed. I'm not <laughs> proud. I'm not proud. I love you, man. I just hope that, you know, fucking 27 years of statute of limitations is over. Is over. <laughs> yeah, he's <laughs> looking at his yeah. watch. Yeah. He's uh, checking the date. In 15 minutes. That's uh, a felony. All right. Last one. Uh, this comes in from Facebook. This is Cody William Price. Uh, he wants to know, never have I ever tried any stunts or pranks from Jackass? Never. Oh come on! You had to have done the. I mean, we've done some crazy shit. No, but. I remember the freaking the the. Oh god, what is it called? It's the it's the carnival hammer with a dildo at the very bottom to where you ding it and just, just sit right at the top. I of have that. never done that. Oh, no. I figured that you probably no, did. Never did that. Man, all right. Well, it was worth a shot. Um, yeah, no, I have not. You want to hear something really stupid about myself? I mean. Yeah. Yeah, always. <laughs> yeah, we're down. When I was in middle school, we had a group of friends that whenever Jackass came out, we decided, hey, we should do the exact same thing and call it something completely different. You and 50 different. million other yeah. teenage kids. Yeah, uh, we called it Original Dumb Fuck, and I mean, they original. were... Original. Original, yeah, and it wasn't original at all. Um, but as far as the pranks go... We called it Ass Jack. <laughs> <laughs> As someone who's been ass jacked before, <laughs> how do you I take do offense that? to that? <laughs> yeah, we we call it original dumb fuck, but there were like all of the ones that where they get hurt in uh, were really stupid. But there was one where one of my really really close friends um, acted like he was from Russia, and we went into a PetSmart one time. And uh, he was <laughs> was like putting his whole fucking arm into like fish tanks, trying to grab fish and acting like he didn't know what the fuck was going on. And uh, it never made it, believe it or not. It never weird. caught on. That is so weird. But if somebody has those videos, uh, I'd like them. But yeah, I saw. Yeah, I did some of the stupid pranks and shit, but not the. No, absolutely okay. not. Yeah. Uh, how about you? Anybody? Uh, well, I actually just tased you. I'm ah! oh, just kidding. Yeah, <laughs> that would be fun. I scared the shit out of him. I, uh, I figured you for for the for the uh, toy car. Now, what we ended up doing, uh, I didn't do it. I was involved in it and helped, but uh, <laughs> it's also scary. What you're going to we say? Went, uh, we went to Walmart one time about probably 15 years ago or so, and they had mini skateboards. Oh, yeah. Like the little tiny ones. Oh, yeah. So we got one of those and taped a shitload of bottle rockets to it. <laughs> and then had, <laughs> had my buddy on the skateboard. First, we got kicked out of Walmart because he, he was sketching on it in the parking lot. Uh, oh, wow. And then... Uh, we typed, we taped a shitload of bottle rockets to it, and he was in a beer helmet, and we fucking lit it. I still have the skateboard. Uh, at the bottom of it, it says, if I die, bury me in my helmet. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't really work out too good. It, yeah. I think it just caught the bottom of his pant leg right, on fire. Yeah, that's, about, that's about oh, all damn. it did. 
Oh, uh, they superimposed it, man. They fucking superimposed, they fucking superimposed it. me, dude. He's like, "What the fuck is superimposed?" <laughs> For what it's worth, I didn't know if I, I didn't even know if I sent it to you. But the story that I told about last week of my buddies falling out of the fucking truck yeah. going sixty. Yeah. I don't know if you saw the video yeah, with the pictures it. on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. There's proof. Yeah, there you go. Uh, but anyways, uh, but that is never have I ever. Uh, now we get to move on to JP's favorite segment. That's where you draw the line. Uh, a lot of good ones coming from here. I like some of these. Uh, we're going to kick this off with Chris Welch from Instagram. Uh, he wants to know, how long should you wait to move in with someone that you are dating? So this varies, really, because straight people. Because my answer sucks. Straight people, y'all, y'all wait a while. Wait till you hear my answer. Gay guys, like gay guys, we give it like two weeks. Mm-hmm. lesbians say hi to each other and they just decide which house they're going to live in. Okay. Like, like lesbians are fast. Like two they weeks move is quick. much better. <laughs> no, it is compared to like immediately. Like the night you go home from the bar, you just don't leave. That's how lesbians do it. So apparently I'm a lesbian. Uh, me and my wife were talking, not officially dating at all. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then we went on a, a separate trips without each other. <clears throat> and when we came back, uh, we officially started dating and she officially moved in mm, nice so legitimately God, immediately i want to like her but she, <laughs> she obviously has horrible judgment <laughs> it's almost been 10 years we've wow, been married that's man. crazy dude yeah the, that's how long mine lasted it's year 11 you gotta really watch out for <laughs> well i come from getting close watch how about, out how about you Derek? motherfucker i'm married we still got separate houses <laughs> yeah. that's the smart thing she to do you can't stand me that's the smart thing to do you don't do it <laughs> <laughs> don't get married yeah. you're, you're trapped after that uh next one uh where do you draw the line this comes in from instagram this is jeff manna he wants to know <laughs> how old is too old to dress your kids up in matching pajamas for christmas card pictures when they're born please don't do this shit stop it uh, fucking white people that's what i was getting ready to say <laughs> dude that's exactly it <laughs> How hard do you white people? Yeah. <laughs> white people. Like are you are you Caucasian? <laughs> are you mid to high income? Well, then you should try our pajamas. <laughs> yeah, dude. And that's that, like some uh, and lately shelf like shit. lately they're the red and black plaid, you know what I'm talking well, about? Yeah, so, oh, oh, the yeah. worst. I know. The worst. Uh, uh, trust me, I know. Yeah. Uh we me, my wife, and our dogs all have plaid uh, pajamas. Of course you do. I was getting do. ready to say they also put their dog in the photo. 100%. Of course they do. Oh, yeah, all four of us all wearing Fantastic, matching plaid. Fantastic, man. It was great. Uh, but, yeah, don't do it. It's, it's a bad idea. I, I'd say the cutoff, though, as far as age goes, uh, for, especially for the kids, don't do it past three years old. I was going to say, like, don't, five like, or six. Yeah, I'd say, I'd say past three because you know those kids don't want to fucking do it. Right. So that's that's my cutoff. Do you have a cutoff? Oh, you said yeah, zero. I said when they're born. Yeah, stop. Yeah, don't do it. Okay, uh, next one. Where do you draw the line? This comes in from Instagram. This is Cameron Barber. Good old Cameron. Good old Cam, Cameron man. Barber. That's right. C Barb. Yeah. C-barb. Old C Barb. Yeah, good stuff. He wants to know uh, what do you consider as cheating? Ooh, like where do you draw the line? What's cheating and what's not? Whenever they try to look at my cards. Oh, yeah. When I'm playing poker and they're trying to like, what do you got over there? <laughs> JP does it all the time. I do. Uh, <laughs> and I still lose. Let me rephrase that this. That went right over your question. fucking head, son of a bitch. What, me? That went right over your no, head. You were like, huh? No. It took you a minute. It took you. I, no, I got it. Yeah. No, I did. You just didn't like it, and I don't blame you. I don't play as much card. You know, I don't play as much poker. How bad funnier. were the other contestants? How bad? That's right. That's <laughs> what I was just getting ready to say. Uh, how bad was everyone else in this contest? <laughs> no. Let me rephrase the question because you're exactly right. No. He wants to know, what do you consider as cheating on your significant other? Where do you draw that line? If they're fucking me and not him too, then I guess that's cheating. Fucking you and not what? You know what I mean? Like if it's not something we're doing together. Oh, so threesome's totally okay. Well, yeah. Uh, that's weird. 
Oh, a three. <laughs> <laughs> amateur. <laughs> <laughs> fucking amateur. <laughs> you fucking want four. Oh, at least. And JP's over here milking an octopus. Yeah, like, no, pretty much. I mean, like, are you one of those people wherever they're talking to somebody that they're attracted to behind your back? Is that cheating? No. That's not cheating? No. There has to be contact. Really? Yeah. Oh, man. Intent, dog. No. Oh, Come yeah. On, man. I'm, I'm the intent guy. Yeah. For everything that about you makes me wish <laughs> that we weren't friends. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, man. I'm telling you. Uh, that, I mean, that's a good point. <laughs> uh, no, man. That's I, just jealousy. Uh, you should be more confident in yourself, bro. If, believe it or not, if you can imagine, whenever I was in high school, I got cheated on. No. Right? It's the hell you say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it turns uh, out his dad had a whole second yeah, family. All right. <laughs> yes. Yes. All right. Uh, so, yeah. He really so, wasn't going to Boston for the weekend. Yeah. <laughs> no, uh, I, 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 I'm I, not necessarily jealous, but once you cheat, um, uh, that's like, it's it. It's right. not, you don't yeah. get second tries. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, if I found out my significant other was like trying to set something up with another person. Yeah. Like if they're trying to set something up, great. Then yeah. yes, I agree with oh, you. Oh, but she, I mean like guy friends and stuff. That yeah. doesn't bother me okay. at all. I don't, no, that doesn't bother me at all. It's the intent of wanting to okay. go and be with another person. That is cheating. Hmm. That's my, that's my, where I'm at. I would go as to far, as far as to say, if he told me, Hey, I'm going to fuck this guy today as long as he told me that's not cheating <laughs> jesus christ that's all right well that's you i'm pretty liberal Derek. i would say yeah physical contact and then okay. uh, also like to like if if you start talking to that person you're like oh, man i just really I, I think i love you i really love you all right oh, yeah. that type of shit too that's some eh, yeah that's that's that nice yeah Other what about if there's no physical contact but they do come in your face hmm that's tricky because I don't know if I'm a cheater or not. That's past my line. <laughs> yeah, that's Just way past Scotty's way line. Way past my line. I'm huh. I'm I'm still good. Okay, <laughs> that's cool. Oh shit! All right. For all I know, that jizz was digital. Right. You don't know. <laughs> yeah. So, I didn't just do that. Yeah. It's all C CGI and stuff. Uh, next one. Uh, where do you draw the line? This comes in from Facebook. This is Andrew James Heath. Oh no. He wants to oh, know. Oh no. This is a good fucking question. Dude, this guy's a serial killer. <laughs> oh, no. I bet you he's killed people. Just because he's got three names? Yep. <laughs> he's probably white. He's going to shoot a president. Either. There's no <laughs> way. This he's going to do. There's no way this guy doesn't end up on the fucking top 10 most wanted list. 100%. Just so you heard it first here, folks. All right. Uh, but anyways, Andrew wants to know how clingy you is. You have to say all three <laughs> names every time. That's okay. a rule. Uh, Andrew Jim Hitho. Okay. Okay. He wants to know how clingy is too clingy for a significant other. I'm married. Leave me the fuck alone. Yeah. I have to have, I have to have alone time. After we do the show every Tuesday night. That's how you stay I, married. I get four and a half hours of alone time. I'm up till 2.30 in the fucking morning. Mystery nights, solved, bro. And I have to have alone Mystery time. Mystery solved. The fact that uh, you just want to be alone and she can do whatever she wants, we that's why you're we married. Don't, we don't normally text each other throughout the day at yeah, work. Smart. You know, it's yeah. we, we get home, we talk to each other, have conversations, we sleep in the same bed. But I'm also not poor, a poor girl. I'm not a cuddler either. I yeah. like I like to be I, I want her to be independent and me be independent as well. So that's that's my answer. Derek. Uh how clingy's too clingy? Yeah. Uh, if you can't fucking do something without her. Like if, yeah. if you're like, uh, Hey, man, you want to go hang out tonight? Yeah, sure. I got the coolest fucking wife ever. I don't have to ask her if I can go do shit. I just go do it. And it's not And it's not the... That's not what you told me. <laughs> <laughs> That's my excuse yeah, most okay. of the time. Yeah. That's why he but, doesn't want to hang out with you. She's like, yeah, weird. I don't get the... Yeah. Yeah, go ahead. Fine. Do what you want. I don't get that either. No, like, I don't get, the worst. I don't get the yeah, guilt trip. Yeah. I had a buddy that we used to be best friends. I was the best man in his wedding. And I would ask him to go hang out. And he's like, oh, I can't. She's going to get yes, mad. And I was I like, friends that way dude, what do you mean? Yeah. I was like, let me text her. And so I was like, hey, do you care if me and John go watch blah, blah, blah. And she's like, 
no, that's fine. He's like, oh, uh, she said that. But and when then I he gets a text. Or, when yeah. I get home, I'm telling you, man. And then we now we just don't talk anymore. Yeah. Like, we were best friends, but that got to where I was like, you've got to be fucking kidding me. Yeah. I don't know if maybe that what I have with my wife is that uncommon that we completely <clears throat> don't. We have no trust issues. We don't. Yeah. I, I, she knows. I, I, she knows how fucking shitty my game is. <laughs> that right. I'm not right. fucking picking yeah. anything else. Well, up. and if yeah, I did, it's way worse than what I've got. You definitely nailed it right the on the only, head. Though. The only way she should be jealous is if you go to the Special Olympics without her, because I think yeah. you could pull someone there, dude. I went to the fucking World Series without her. Yeah, and yeah. she was yeah. fine in yeah. Chicago. Right. Yeah. I, I think you're a hundred percent correct. You're one hundred percent correct. Uh, nailed it right on the head. So. Yeah, that's my answer, too. All right. All right. And last one. And uh, I can't pull a special Olympian, dude. There's, <laughs> that's true. They're Either still way. in good physical yeah, shape. Absolutely. Good call. Yeah. Uh, last one is, how far does your hairline have to recede before you start shaving your head? Uh, let me see. Look to yeah, I'm getting there, dude. <laughs> I got a call. I got You're a Manning head. I, yeah, I got a Manning head. Yeah, I'm getting there, uh, too. What I oh, would say. Oh, no. You're good. You're good. My grandfather is 94 and still has a full head of hair. Nice. And my mom's side, too. So. Nice. I would say not necessarily the receding part as much as I will. If you start getting the, the front starts completely is gone and you've mm-hmm. just got, like, the sides and this whole shit's gone, like yeah, my stepdad. Right, yeah, right, right, right. Dude, just fucking give up. You got dude, the horseshoe going. Dude, we had a teacher in high school Fuck. that had, he had the island. He had, oh, he had the island? Oh, yeah, no. dude. He had the horseshoe. And then, but there was like about that much hair just right, yeah. right there. Like they cut his unicorn horn. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, dude, Mister Gilbert. And he still probably yeah. combed that motherfucker yeah. over. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Why yeah, he's dude. putting gel yeah. in it? Yeah. Like just, yeah. Why? Yeah. Why do Crazy. that to yourself? Yeah. I, I, and everybody knows I'm watching Cheers, right? And Frazier is in the show, and throughout like the first eight seasons of the show, he his hairline is receding further and further and further back to where he finally gets that thing, and you're. You're like Jesus Christ! Just shave your fucking head already. Yeah. But I guess it was in style back in the fucking like eight, late eighties, early nineties. Well, I there guess. There you go. I guess. Yuck. All right. Uh, but yeah, how about you, Derek? What'd you say? I just said that oh, if it starts to yeah, go like on the you're right. Ear, Jeez. Then give it up. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that is that's where I draw the line, and now we get to move on to questions and preguntas. I like a lot of these this week. Yes, and the reason why I did an applause is because the first question of this week comes in from Jeremy Robbins. <laughs> hey, we picked one of his, and it was actually legitimate picking. I didn't even know it was him. You can really? no longer submit unless you use three names. Uh, okay. <laughs> I don't know and if I want to kill people. <laughs> oh, no, don't do that. <laughs> uh, and live stream it. But yeah, yeah, Jeremy. I'm interested. Jeremy, we picked one of yours. Look and, at that. And you did a great job. You did good, Jeremy. You did. So first question comes in from Jeremy Robbins, and he wants to know new names for female masturbation. Clam digging. Mm. I've heard that one. Oh yeah. Drawing back the beef curtains. Yeah, I was gonna say rearrange the meat curtains. Depending on what time of the month it is, parting the Red Sea. Yeah. Snatch stretching. Okay. I like That's, is that the one that you should come up with? You said you came up with some really good answers. I hope that wasn't one of them. Lying to yourself. Oh, I like that. Yeah, I like buddy. That. Okay, I that's like better. That one. That's better. You're you're, you're coming oh. along. How about you, Derek? Uh, tickling the taco. <laughs> yeah. Uh, shucking the oyster. <laughs> uh, DJ Khaled. With the <laughs> DJ Khaled, uh, I like that one. And then uh, what, what was the other one I had? Oh, uh, stimulating the stalactite of the Great Pink Cave. <laughs> wow! I also call it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great! Good job, Jeremy. Uh, let's go. Next question comes in from Instagram. This is uh, from Chase Golden. Uh, he wants to know. He's got a lot of retarded things, Chase. <laughs> he apparently. He does. Uh, he wants to know. I'm going to blame stealing stuff on him. Yeah, yeah you should. <laughs> he wants to know what's. <laughs> I can't even get through it. <laughs> I hope you don't. This uh, poor sister. <laughs> <laughs> he wants to know what's the name for a special needs music group? 
Down syndrome. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Oh, man. The uh, other one I got is popsicles for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> Guitar hero. Yeah. Was yeah. mine. But my favorite one, system of the downs. Okay. There you go. Yeah. All right. Yeah. How about you, Derek? Yeah. System of a down syndrome. Yeah. Three doors down syndrome. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Poor, da- poor downs have? people. I had a couple I had written down. So uh, what, what else did I have? I had. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to do the three doors downs deal, but. Uh, the waterheads. Oh, nice. Uh, <laughs> the drowning pool cover band frowning drool. <laughs> oh, frowning <my> drool. <laughs> and the Shit. applesauce bandits. Oh, yeah, I like it. That's great. Oh, shit. Okay. I like the applesauce bandits. I do like the applesauce bandits, too. That's probably my favorite one that you had. Okay. Uh, next question comes in from Instagram. This is from Jesse Petal. He wants to know, what's a board game that is based on your life? Monopoly. Yeah, dude. Because just, I'm always bankrupt. You just freaking kill. Oh, you're bankrupt. Okay. Yeah, I'm that. I gotcha. I am I don't live on Baltic Avenue. I just stay there. Oh, Right. That makes perfect sense. That's pretty sense. much right. Um, You're more of a Marvin Gardens guy to me. I, I wish. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Chinese checkers. That's mine. Why? Yeah. You're not Chinese. I'm not Chinese. And you're not good at checkers. Uh, but it is actually a strategy board game of German origin, which is, you know, uh, okay. kind of me. And uh, Racist, <laughs> culturally appropriating. <laughs> yeah. Hey, uh-huh. wait a minute. No, not that kind of German. Uh, but it can be played with up to... This one's called In the Oven. <laughs> no. <laughs> Everyone get in the oven. It can be played with up to six people. So that's okay, like the, that's the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. Right. Well, technically, All we have right. seven. Um, but uh, it requires no counting or spelling. So Which that's, is great. That's, yeah. that's okay. why it... it yeah, I'll it's give to- you that, totally man. mine. Yep. Right on. Uh, how about you, Derek? Uh, mine would be a combination okay. of Cards Against Humanity, Jenga, and Aggravation. <laughs> <laughs> how about you, JP? I already said. Oh. Man, where are you tonight, I'm man? off. Where I've, are you? Yeah, I, I know you're in a good mood, and that's great. He's there's, starstruck right now. I am. I am in your <laughs> presence, Derek. Yes. The, yeah. the double champ. Well, i tell you what. Uh-huh. You should have seen how many people came up to congratulate him while we were at bowling last night. Oh, Really? I got a title for each chin. None. None. <laughs> I just, you know, I got a lot of texts. I, I'm, <laughs> I'm shocked. They didn't want to fuck up my game. They didn't want to fuck up your game. Smart. Yeah. I'm just shocked you didn't go after the low hanging fruit for that question, JP. What's that? Connect four. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I figured you'd good go call. for that one. But good call. That's beside my twister. Yeah. yeah Twister's a good yeah. one. Too. Uh, next one. This is uh, from Instagram. This is kind of a double one that I kind of combined because it's kind of the same idea. Uh, but this is from Zachary Stern and Daniel Delaney. Uh, they they want to know honest country or state tourism slogans. I mean, the most obvious one, Australia. You're going to fucking get killed by the animals is one. Kansas. Yep. It's flat. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking true. 100%. Not good snowboard territory. Kansas is flat as a... Th- Six-year-old girl. <laughs> yeah. Uh, how about you, Derek? I would just like to think of a sign that says, Welcome to Mississippi, but Mississippi is spelled wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No shit. It's just Mississippi. No, there's like three R's in it. <laughs> <laughs> and a four. And one of them's backwards. <laughs> <laughs> is that a letter or just a green stripe? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, welcome to Rhode Island. You're now leaving Rhode Island. It was the one I came up with. I can't remember the comedian. I can't remember the guy's name, but it, it's been on. It's a long while ago, but he had a special, and he was talking about, like, state slogans and stuff. Oh, yeah. And he was saying how Oklahoma was, like, the worst place, and he was, like, given new names, and one of them was Oklahoma, Oklahoma. There. I said it twice. <laughs> <laughs> Yep. I like that one. I like that one, too. All right. Uh, let's see. Next one. Instead of turtles, it should have been the Teenage Mutant Ninja Blanks. Gerbils. Yeah, I was going to say guinea pigs or yeah, something like that. Teenage yeah, Teenage Mutant Ninja Gerbils. Teenage Mutant Ninja Gerbils. Teenage Mutant Ninja Gerbils. Gerbils in a rolling ball. Gerbil power. 
Uh, Derek, I do right? love a good gerbil. I'm sure you do. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking gross, dog. A gerbil in a pair of pantyhose, and I'm set for Friday night. Oh, no. I'm going to karate kick his way out of there. And watch it. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, <laughs> How about you, Derek? Uh, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Cripples. <laughs> okay. All right. That would be. Wow. Here, here's the thing. They still can't walk. <laughs> They're they, still in the chair. They can just kick. Oh, yeah. like they can kick and punch and do all the cool <laughs> but shit. They can't but walk. they can't walk. And they still drool all over themselves. Oh man! Yeah, like they they need somebody to feed them <laughs> and do all that shit. Oh, but they can kick ass. You okay. know what I mean? All right, that's their mutant powers, huh? Mm-hmm. Okay, good. They're disabled but abled. Okay, that's the, <laughs> the abled disabled. That's the tagline. Okay, I got it. All right, fine. Uh, and <laughs> he's just shaking his head. <laughs> this has gone horribly wrong. <laughs> I, yeah. I, I wish if I could pinpoint the minute that it started, <laughs> yeah. and we could go back. But there's too many, too many <laughs> minutes, too many, time. too many times. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and last but certainly not least, instead of pounds, we should start using blanks as a unit of measurement of someone's weight. I couldn't come up with anything. Lizzo's. I, okay. All right. Lizzo's. I see where you're, I, I was if like, where do we go with this? If you are half a Lizzo, then you're okay. probably okay as far as health goes. If you are a full Lizzo. If you are a full Lizzo. Or, a, or a, in Derek's in case, a Lizzo and a half. <laughs> then you probably need to seek medical attention or a gym. Mm. So that's what I'm going with. I'm gonna, I am gonna. can't stop that. I like that. You like the I'm Lizzo's? I'm just going to go with the Lizzo's. Lizzo's are good. Yeah. How about you, Derek? Ounces. Oh. <laughs> Just because that's all those all, fucking people that are their kids like 39 I knew that's months. Like, yes, yes, I knew that's where you're going with that. <laughs> like, how much we you talked like? about that last, last week, week, crazy yep. enough. I'm like 4,480 ounces. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to get I down like to 3,000 ounces. You know, that's my healthy <laughs> nice. weight. Uh, fuck those people. Fuck those people. That's I didn't know you talked about it last week, but still fuck them. That's fuck correct. Em. Absolutely. Ladies and gentlemen, that is this week's questions and preguntas. Again, every single Monday, we will start the uh, the week with a Monday fun day. Next week, uh, send in your suggestions, and if we like them, we will uh, give you a shout-out and read your question on the show. But now, we get to move to a very popular part of every single episode. This is the Laughing on the Sidelines Draft. Ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sideline draft. And uh, I know you're going to smack me. Um, <laughs> I, I'm, cool. Well, yeah, it would actually be kind of funny. But uh, I don't remember who won last week. I don't know. Derek, who won last week? I don't know. I wasn't here. <laughs> I know. I'm I don't follow you, kidding. assholes. I figured you didn't. <laughs> uh, I just know that I did not. I did not win. Uh, but uh, it looks like Steve won. Hey, Steve fucking won. Oh, wrong button. Steve won. Oh, damn. That's the first one he's ever won. Good for him. And then I got second, and JP got last. <laughs> oh, that sucks for you, buddy. Um, but <laughs> Our listeners are obviously fucking stupid. <laughs> um, but, yeah, so it looks like uh, this week... That means uh, I guess I'm going to get the middle picks. Uh, oh, no, I'm going to get the championship picks because of my technicality. I fucking love that shit. I'll get the uh, championship picks. Uh, JP, you get the sandwich picks. Where well, you always like to be I anyway. I do love yeah. to be in the sandwich. And because Derek has missed, he gets to have the number one pick of this week's draft. Celebr- celebrity treatment. Yeah, I that's right. That. Yeah. <laughs> he gets the celebrity treatment. Very well. Whatever. By the way, I specifically only asked for green M and M's in my trailer, and oh. I did not get them. Those Dude, motherfuckers. I'm so sorry. That's so terrible. Well, at least you got a trailer. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm Spe- living high on the hog. <clears throat> Speaking of white people problems, anyways. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so this week's draft, I think, is going to be kind of fun because it's going to be a little bit different. Generally, we have five picks of a particular topic, and uh, I kind of like this idea. Uh, we are going to draft the new people to be on our American currency. So that means we are going to draft for the $1 bill, the $5 bill, the $10 bill, the $20 bill, the $50 bill, and the $100 bill. I don't care anything less than 1000 <laughs> yeah. So are we not going to go to... Yeah, but here's the thing. Grover Cleveland was on the 1000 You can draft your dollar bills in any particular order. 
Okay. Okay. So that means okay, I got you. you see what I'm saying? We know what it means. We're not stupid. Well, <laughs> I'm not part of Down syndrome. I don't know. You, you are an applesauce bandit. You are. That is true. Yeah. I do love applesauce. Yeah. Part of system of the downs. Applesauce. Uh, uh huh. Anyways. So, uh, so yeah, this week, uh, Derek, you get the first pick and you just have to let me know, uh, which dollar bill you are drafting whenever you're drafting those particular people. Okay. So there are a total of six of these. Okay. All right. So what are you taking first? I bet you can guess the dollar bill when I tell you it's 50. <laughs> oh, you bastard. You son of a bitch. <laughs> That's a good one. On that the 50. is. Oh, fine. Okay, fine. <laughs> nice. That is, a, that is a great pick. God damn it. Mm-hmm. Uh, JP, what do you got? Uh, for the $100 bill, I'm going to go with Trump. Uh, of course you are. Oh, boy. Okay. Trump it is. Uh, I am also going to draft the $100 bill first, and I'm going to go with Martin Luther King. Okay. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> He's really got a fucking he, he, he got two opposites there. Yeah. That's a uh, boy. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Okay. All, All right. right. And then we'll see where our, our uh, people stand now. Yeah. And then on, uh, oh, on, the, on the 50, I'm going to go with Muhammad Ali. Okay. Hold on, man. <laughs> what? I feel like you're he's trying, trying to make a statement. He really here. is yeah. trying to make a statement. I don't know what you're talking about. He's. Like, I know who he's putting on the ten already. I uh, do. You? Yeah. Where uh. I got. I just one just came to me. I cannot. <laughs> oh, I can't wait for my next pick now. <laughs> well, guess what, JP? It's my turn. It is your. Okay. Your turn. We're gonna go on the one dollar bill. Okay. We're gonna go Clayton Bixby. <laughs> Clayton. Oh, oh God. <laughs> oh Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay. And then, Derek, you get two in a row. I had my $1 bill as Tyrone Biggums. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Tyrone Biggums. Yep. Okay. And then you get one more. The $5 bill. Okay. Jared from Subway. There you go. Hey, that's really close to my $5 bill, you motherfucker. Oh, that's really close. Damn it. Okay. All right. Uh, JP, you're up. $5 bill. Yeah. Bill Cosby. Damn it. <laughs> guys suck. Uh, you kind of are going in my di- my direction, though. Uh, I'm going to go with uh, the $20 bill. I'm going to go with Dave Chappelle. Very good. Yep. Very good. I like that one. Uh, but, Keeping with your theme. Uh, yep. Yeah, sure yeah. Very well. Uh, and then I'm going to go with, let's see. Maya Angelou. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's no women on these bills. Oh, okay. <laughs> they don't deserve to be on there. Uh, I am going to go with... You went from hating black people to hating women. <laughs> hey, what are you talking one about? Draft. Uh, I'm going to go with Michael Jordan that on the 10. Blaine's the Lizzo hate. <laughs> Michael Jordan on the 10. Okay. Okay. Uh, JP. Oh, wait. Am I? Yeah, no, that's, that's too. right. Yeah, yep. I did do two. Uh, JP, go for it. Um, hmm. All right. On the what do I got left? Uh, Three, you have four, the five. you ha- uh, you actually the ten dollar bill. Yeah, the ten, the you twenty, the and 10. the fifty. Okay. On the ten dollar bill, I'm gonna go with Martin Van Buren. Martin Van Buren. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And then Derek, you get two in a row. Uh, I'm gonna go with the ten dollar bill. Okay. Gary Busey. Nice. <laughs> nice. I like it. I love that. That's great. And then one more. Uh, you still got your 100 and you still got your 20. Well, the 100s you guys have taken, so I'm going to go with my 20. Okay. Charlie Sheen. Charlie <laughs> Sheen. Good list. That is a great list. Good list. Okay. Uh, JP. Um, <laughs> for the 50. Okay. I'm going to go with... Uh, the Tiger King. Oh, oh Joe Exotic. Okay. Joe Exotic. Joe Exotic. That's awesome. All right. Uh, let's see. <laughs> I ran out of options, so I'm going to go back. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, let's see. I am going to go Eli with... Eli Whitney. 
Huh? <laughs> Eli Whitney. George Washington Carver. <laughs> no. I'm going to go for my $1 bill. I'm going to go with Darius Rucker. Oh, my God. Keeping in theme. <laughs> hootie. You should just write hootie. Sorry, yeah. Hootie. And then the five should be the blowfish. <laughs> You should just do every denomination a member of the Wu Tang Clan. Yeah, that'd be cool too. For my five old dirty bastards. Old dirty bastard. For my ten, Rizza. <laughs> uh, but I'm gonna round up this draft with my very last pick, and I'm gonna also go with Eminem as my five dollar pick. You just ruined your whole theme. <laughs> no, I didn't. I was so waiting for you to take Malcolm X. On yeah, the dude, for real. Uh, nope. I okay. took Eminem. These right. are some of my favorite people in the entire United uh-huh. States. Sure they are. So that is rough. <laughs> <laughs> I hey. fucking love Hootie. I do. Hootie. Uh, come on, man. I keep asking to bring back that chicken sandwich from Burger <laughs> King all the time. <laughs> <laughs> the cheddar bacon nice. tender ranch. Yeah. Whatever the fuck he was hawking back in the early yeah. 2000s. So, uh, JP, let's round this bad boy up. You get uh, your last On the 20. Pick. You get You get your 20. We're going Ross Perot. <laughs> Ross nice. Perot. All right. And Derek, you get you hunted. What do you got? Lil Wayne. Lil Atta Wayne. Baby. That's a yeah. good. That's a great pick. I just want to hear somebody see if they can break a wheezy. Yeah. <laughs> dude, can you break a Can you, can you can I got get the wheezy for a wheezy? <laughs> All I got's a wheezy. You got any buseys? Oh <laughs> shit. All right. Uh, do we have any honorable mentions for the two dollar bill that doesn't really exist anymore? I do. What do you got, Betty White? Because that's some <laughs> shit my grandmother would have gave me every goddamn I like year. It. I like it. <laughs> oh fuck! They still exist. They print them new. Oh yeah. Betty Betty White's on it? No. Uh, no. <laughs> no. The two dollar bills. <laughs> Betty know. White still exists. She's just <laughs> she's just dead. She's very dirty right now. <laughs> <laughs> Lost a lot of weight. She sure did. How still about- fucks like a champ. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow! Uh, how about you, uh, JP? Do you have a two dollar bill? No, he's it's got a three dollar bill. <laughs> <laughs> <On the laughs> I actually do have a three dollar <laughs> bill. It's uh, him. It's, it's Bush Junior. <laughs> is that what it is? Yeah. Okay. Oh fuck! Yeah, I don't really have one. I was gonna say the guy that played ba- Black Panther, but. Yeah, yeah, I bet you were. <laughs> I think the two dollar bill is uh, what's his name? <laughs> what I don't know. Uh, Holden Armenta. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Little nine year old Holden. No, it's Andrew James Heath. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh shit! I uh, I, oh. I kind of wish I would have done the whole Wu Tang Clan. Now yeah, that would that have been great. Too late. Uh, Too I, bad. So I, I also do have another uh, two dollar bill actually that just came to mind that I like even better. Uh, he is uh, NBA basketball player Jason Williams. Is he black? White chocolate. Uh, well, yeah, then that doesn't go. With it thing. does too. But anyways, <laughs> from now on, I'm calling hundreds of wheezies. <laughs> For sure. You should. I'm huh? fucking doing it. People are going to look at me like I'm retarded. Dude, it's going to catch on. <laughs> like, are you in a band? Can you break a wheezy? <laughs> you know how people draw uh, Sylvester Stallone on, yeah. the, like, yeah. the fives, I think? Oh, uh, yeah. That you should just start drawing <laughs> wheezy <laughs> on all your fucking hundreds. <laughs> I know you have a lot of them. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, fuck you, Benjamin. Uh, but I got look, 10 of them for winning that contest. Yeah, you <laughs> sure did. did. Congratulations. You got some practice. I got 10 wheezes. 10 wheezes. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that is this week's draft. Man, that was fucking fun. Uh, but you can go to facebook.com slash laughing on the sidelines or on X, which is at LOT sidelines and vote for your favorite list of new American currency, the dollar bills draft. Uh, and whoever wins, I don't know. Maybe they maybe get, they get a wheezy. I think they get a couple of Derek's wheezies from yeah, his fine. competition that's winnings. Cool. Yeah, you need to get my wheezies. You better give me a squeezy. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> you got to give me a squeezy to get my wheezy. Yeah. Man. All right, but ladies and gentlemen, uh, now we get to move on to my favorite part of every single episode. This is the laughing on the sidelines shitty situation of the week. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines shitty situation brought to you by Fanger Bang Beer and Derek winning the Funniest Person in Wichita competition two times. <laughs> two times. Two times. Champ! 
Anyways. The only one. <laughs> the only one. There can be only one. <laughs> uh, something tells me that you're going to go out and to defend your title next year. No. No? No, unless the prize is like $10,000. <laughs> okay. Uh, it uh, depends on how many wheezies I can get. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Dude, I guarantee he'll do it for a wheezy. A wheezy. I don't know if I'll do it for a wheezy. I okay. think you would. Nah. I didn't get a wheezy the first time, so I was yeah. like, eh. eh. Anyways, uh, ladies and gentlemen, this week's laughing on the sideline shitty situation is, <clears throat> would you rather, you only have to do one of these one time, would you rather shit in a display toilet at a hardware store <laughs> or shoot a Roman candle out of your ass? This is from Ass Jack. This is this the is thing from, that Scott yeah, used this, yeah. These were yeah. our videos that we did. Yeah. Original. The original Ass Jack. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like an infomercial. <laughs> <laughs> Are you tired of Dude. your ass hanging low? Get the original ass check. <laughs> Suzanne Summers is the fucking spokesmodel. No, it's that guy from ShamWow. Absolutely. It's, that, it's Vince that, from ShamWow. Yeah, guy. Vince. Yeah. Or uh, Billy Mays. <laughs> Billy Mays here. <laughs> ass check. Get your ass check. He jack. died. Oh. He did too much coke. Yeah, he did. I know. I witnessed him with cocaine under my nose. <laughs> yeah. nice. Anyways, what would you rather do? Would you, have to, would you rather have to shit in a display toilet on the showroom floor at a hardware store or shoot a uh, Roman candle out of your ass? I'm going Roman candle. Well, how did I fucking know? Because I'm hoping for some blowback, if uh, you know what I mean. <laughs> oh my God. I don't think you want that blowback. <laughs> I don't think it so. It gets in deeper and deeper every shot. I am. Uh, I feel like. Dude, I, There is. it's not even close. I'm so shitting in a toilet on, on the, yeah. the showroom floor because all I can think about is like, first of all, I don't want to shove anything up there. Oh, well, you're a ever. fool. No. You'd be surprised. Don't but, knock it till you try but it. But not to mention, those things have some like kick. I mean, that's there's what some, I, yes. some fucking right. recoil. That's what so I'm that's, hoping for is the recoil. Well, not only that, but what happens if like the backing of that fucking uh, Roman candle fails oh, and it goes that would, directly in your ass? That so would hurt. That, you goddamn but right that would hurt. It's worth the risk. I'm sure it is for you, yep. but not so for me. So you're shitting on the toilet. I, am so I think I know what Derek's going to say. I would do the exact same thing. Newspaper and everything, and I would be more than happy. to. Yeah. I mean, I'm getting kicked out, but right. whatever. Derek? Oh man, I'm gonna have to shit in the toilet. <laughs> yeah, that's. Uh, Did I convince you, dude? I used to not even like to poop in public. Oh, I'm like, the same. I way. was uh, now. I mean, I don't enjoy it by any yeah. means now. But I can't, I can't do it. You I, can't I do, it? do it. No, you, dude, you fucking stink up the bathroom. This is that the, bad? You're talking. Remember the story last week, man? Oh, that's true. Or a couple weeks ago, yeah, whatever you it was. Like to shit like, on your toilet. I like to shit on my own toilet, man. Mm. I'm the excited. End. I'm excited for like the toilets that play music when I go on vacation. Yeah, right <laughs> on. Uh, the fancy Japanese toilets. And so but, they, uh, they cover up your fart noises. Ah, that's fine. <laughs> uh, the uh, did I, t- did I ever tell you this, uh, like how I overcame my fear of shitting in public? I don't think so, but I don't remember. I was at an airport, and I was in. Like, oh yes, and I had to go. I was in Ohio. Yeah, right. Yeah, and yeah, I was like, said, yeah. oh, I've got to shit, but there's no way I'm going to make it six hours. <laughs> and I was like, fuck it, I'm never going to see these people. And I go in the bathroom, and I fucking let it hit, and there's nobody in there. I'm like, cool, I can get in, get out. Nobody's going to know, right? And then all of a sudden, one guy walks in. I'm like, fuck, and he just goes. Son of a bitch! <laughs> and me, from being terrified, I just went, <laughs> and then he walked right back out. Yeah, nice. yeah, that's how I got over that fear. Nice. So, so what are you doing? Are you shitting in the? I'm yeah. shitting in the display. You're shitting in the display. One hundred percent. Yeah, I still don't like to shit in public, and that's really gonna make me uneasy. <laughs> but. <laughs> I'm going in that display toilet all day. Yeah. At least can I, can't I do clock both it. at the same time. I mean, you can do whatever you want to, JP. I'll take both. I don't, dude, I don't know who it is at my work, but <laughs> like, no, I have an honest question. Uh, this is, I mean, seriously, this is really serious. Whenever you take a shit in the toilet where you're supposed to go, do you know anybody that like shoots it off the fucking backboard? Dude, dude you, do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. I've had a couple that have done that. Dude, you know what's worse <laughs> than that, dude? Oh, my God. Is like when you go in to clean the bathrooms at work. Yes. And there's shit on the outside, on the side of the fucking toilet. <laughs> I did. I had to clean that in a women's room. Yeah, <laughs> oh no, God. that's not okay. How the fuck do you do that? That's not okay. You're man. sitting. You're you're sh- you're you're, okay. oh Yo, you're shitting way too far back on the toilet. Scoot mine up. was just violent. That's what. <laughs> yeah. Mine was. Okay. Yeah, it wasn't right. solid. 
There you go. I understand the explosive stuff that mm. like bounce off the toilet and hit the bottom of the lid or whatever. Yeah. But I mean, let me. Every let, day there let, is somebody that goes into the handicap stall at work oh. and just blasts the back of the bowl, and it it's is probably Phil. Up, probably. <laughs> dude, that just dude. That speaking, hates of, handicapped speaking, people. speaking of Phil, <laughs> you know I've seen a couple commercials lately that he's done. The one, the one that I saw lately, that dude needs some new pants. Like, <laughs> His pants are like four times too big for him. I don't know. He's lost a lot of weight. Yeah, apparently he needs to buy some new pants because yeah. yeah. Let me let me ask you this on a, on a never have I ever note. Have you okay. ever have you ever shit in a urinal? I have not. I have not either. I have. <laughs> no, I know you have. <laughs> we know you have at that same place where I blame the retarded kid. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That same there week. You go. That same, that same weekend. weekend. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Sounds like you had a very very uh, eventful oh, weekend. Awesome. Yeah, that was. Oh, uh, Jesus. Just, well, I thought it was hilarious at 14. Well, well, it's... Now it's just mildly funny at 41. <laughs> it makes you giggle. Yeah. Uh, well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. JP, thank you so very Absolutely, much... Absolutely, man. ...for your magical fairy dust. And again, thank you so much to the two-time champion... Mr. Derek the Rec Alders. 14 more, and I'm catching Ric Flair. <laughs> <There>. Woo! <laughs> Woo! Uh, but no, thank you guys so very much for tuning in. We sincerely do appreciate it. Uh, every single time you guys uh, see our videos, we appreciate it if you comment, like, and share. That helps us grow the show. Uh, and all of the new listeners, uh, thank you for tuning in for the you know for the show. We really do appreciate it. For sure. Uh, but as we always like to say, guys, do us a favor. If you like us, tell your friends. And if you don't like us, uh, we hope you send out your matching PJ's Christmas card photo to all your friends and family, and then you realize your balls were showing. <laughs> 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 if you don't like us, tell your enemies. And until next time, make it a Kodak moment. <laughs> until next time, Keep laughing, we will see y'all later. Take care. <laughs> <laughs>